you guys are in the depths of the Warforge factory. All right. We have done everything here. I look at all of the things that we have done here. I leave. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, like, is it time to go to the other? Oh, there he goes. Yep. Uh, yeah. this, is the, this is not my hat. This is the ghost of the hat because I right, remember right, right. picking up my hat course, long yeah. ago. I want there yeah. to be no besmirchment on my character. I've worn my hat yeah. since picking it up. Yes. So, yes, you guys head back and you can see that the barrier is definitely a little bit more lightened and more transparent. You can see uh, mm. easier oh, nice. into the room. And let me describe a little bit of what you see. You can't quite see it extremely clearly, but you can see that there is an there are like bits of dim orange glow on like the sides of the room. By the way, chat, let me know how the audio sounds if I need to turn down that music. Uh, you see like orange glows on the left and right side of the room ahead, as well as some sort of elevated area with multiple like silhouettes of humanoids standing idle. Question. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Answer. You go first. <laughs> um, is this movable? <laughs> Let me see. Yeah. <laughs> if only because, you know, uh -huh. in case. Yeah, 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 just in case. Just in case. So that is the oaken bolter. And that thing, well, it does need to be manned. Ah, sorry, Renee. Stupid <laughs> gendered wow. weapons. Wow. wow. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't ready for that one. Oh, God. Damn, Nathaniel. <laughs> See, I won't. I'm not going to touch it because I'm an ally, but. <laughs> so, answer. Damn, Nathaniel. Yes, it can be moved, and it has a move. <gasps> it has a move speed of 30 feet. Oh, sweet biscuits. Uh, Good to Renee know. I just got a new toy. Good to know. I have a wonderful theory. <laughs> wonderful plan. It's fine. Don't worry about mm -hmm. it. Uh -huh. huh. Wait. Yeah. Be well. I. I. You go. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, you continue. Uh, did Nathaniel want to do something? Yes. Not particularly. Okay. I mean, they, 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 you said that they weren't moving on the other end, right? No, they're not. You can see that they look very humanoid shaped, and you know, like they're probably some kind of humanoid, but they're sitting completely still, like man. How many are there? Mm, you can tell one, two, three, four. Uh, fourteen. And if I move over here. 14. When counting all of them, you can see 14. Hmm. No, there are a dozen more forged in there. I imagine this is going to be more difficult the longer it takes. I don't know how many more they're going to have. Uh, fun. So, for the time being, do we want to take that heavy ammunition, you know, just aim it right there so that when it drops, we don't have to worry too much about them trying to come at us? She if gestures like. over to the cannon. Does it need to be... Does it need to be manned in order to be fired? Well, yes, but we can move it over there preemptively. Not a, mm. not a bad idea. I think that it would be a very good idea. Enoch's mm. friend, what do you think? Uh, Magnus, just lo uh, he's just kind of investigating. You can see he's brushing his hand around, like, all the various pieces of architecture and machinery, and he's just kind of taken in by everything, and he goes, What? Mm. what? Do you I mean to destroy you the Warforged? I didn't say anything like that. But why would that be a problem for you? You can see he hesitates and looks around a minute. I guess it wouldn't. Can I don't know if insight is the best thing for this. It's the best thing for me. I want to roll yeah. insight. You, you yeah. most certainly can. You most certainly can. Insight. Thank you. I'm gonna let y'all do it. Hey, hey look, oh. I did a good roll. Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> oh no. Luna, take this back. <laughs> <laughs> I can't have the bad rolls. I'm good. <laughs> You the investigator can't time. read the face of this man, but uh, Luna... The woman who deals with shady people all the time. You, you can see I that deal he, with... he is a little what? hesitant at the thought of destroying the Warforged. Uh, that he he does seem to have something like... Like he wants something from these Warforged. What it is, who knows, but he seems, he seems taken aback by that thought somewhat. He uh... is trying to hide it, though. You can tell. He's trying to keep uh -huh. a poker face as best he can. Which, which is a red flag to me. Um, no surprise to me. I I do I think it's best insight. that you be honest with us. Because, frankly, you're not a good liar. <sighs> I see. I can tell that there is 
a little lack of trust between us, admittedly, and... Well, you did just do kind of show you are. up. We have no idea who you are, and suddenly you... I mean, you know a lot about Nathaniel, and you seem familiar with Enoch. So, yes, I, I am. I am suspicious of you. You have told us next to nothing about you, and yet expect us to let you help. Very well. As a matter of fact, the, My plan... As a matter of fact, the opposite is true. He doesn't want us to help at all. Oh, he doesn't want to help us at all. He wants to stand here in the middle of the room and be left with his own devices. He wants something in these... He wants something in this factory. Both of these are true, yes. I do want to sit here and not participate, and I do want something from this factory. I admit I am not the strongest combatant. These weapons and my component pouch are merely for defensive measures in case I get in a situation that is dicey. I'm usually one that has others help work with him. Unfortunately, my former party is no more. I was thinking, perhaps, if I would get some assistance from you all, I could maybe have a Warforged companion that could help me in future endeavors. I'm inciting this. I just want to make sure if he's lying. Mm -hmm. I don't want a rapid fire insight, I, but that's like... That's yeah, such a like, that's, that's such a, a thing to say. Well, that's right? like a useful thing to insight on. He's trying to tell us, so we need to see if he's lying. Fifteen. Like fifteen. Ah, finally, uh, we're back inside the house because we only roll twenties in it. <laughs> also, for the sake of for the sake of the argument, when he's talking, I kind of just like roll my hand over the back of my neck. Mm hmm. Now, looking at, he is still definitely hiding something from you. He's not giving you the full story. Uh, but you can tell that he, judging by his composure, he, the thing about not being much of a fighter on his own is pretty, you know, easy to determine looking at his garb and how he's dressed. He's very underprepared for any sort of combat thing. He steps up and starts to take off some of his equipment as a gesture of good faith, if you would like. Here, he, he holds out a, a scabbard and a little pouch, my sword and my component pouch. Without it, I am a sitting duck, and I would be at your total mercy. Well, that's not exactly true. If you know how to cast magic, then you also would know not all spells require components. He squints his eyes. Very good, Mr. Witchtaker. That is true. What would you want of me? Absolutely nothing. I to leave. Oh, I no. don't want anything from you. I'm just very confused at this motive. I... Do not... I don't mean this to sound as insensitive as it's going to sound, but are, are you telling me that you can't just go to a tavern and meet new people? That you have to go through... Making friends? <laughs> have you tried <laughs> making friends? <laughs> a little bit of self-projection, are we? Jesus hold Christ. On, hold on, hold on. She had more to that thought, and it's broke. I'm sorry. Go on. <laughs> sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. I mean, really, this just seems like a lot of trouble to go through to simply have a companion when there are plenty of people also looking for companions. It just seems like a lot of hoops to jump through. Give me a persuasion. <laughs> That's wow. There it is. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Very good. I, I'm not charismatic. All of my intimidation checks are by muscle, excuse. Mm -hmm. Very well. He... He scratches his chin a bit. You know, that would be the normal way of doing things. Uh, yes, that's why this is a, this is strange. Out of preparation, I'm going to take my glasses off and fold them in my hand for just a moment and wait. Oh, are you planning on doing something? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm preparing to prepare something <laughs> because he just gave a very matter of fact response to uh, a very uh, accusational statement. Tact is not something Luna he, has. He he looks around at all of you and just the various interrogations. He shrugs his shoulders. Very well. I will leave you to your devices and simply wait outside with Scorpio, if that would put you at ease. And maybe oh. go to a tavern and meet some people. Well, as a matter of fact, I don't want to bore Scorpio with well, never mind. But I think that your presence here would be perfectly fine. I don't see how you're going to cause any ruckus. Unless, of course, this barrier that I'm standing behind were to shut off suddenly, leaving you in the middle so that you can enter the room before we do. 
He lifts his hands up. I see where you are getting at. So, how about this? Because I am interested in knowing what you're actually doing here. You can stay with Scorpio if you'd like, or you could come with us. And you don't have to get involved in the combat, but when we're finished, we'll be the first here when the barrier is down, and then we'll come get you if you are with Scorpio. All right, he... I'll say that he agrees to either option. I'll let you guys choose. Does he go with Scorpio, or does he follow you guys behind at a safe distance so that you can keep track of him? I want him with us for the drama, <laughs> but that's just me as a player. I... <laughs> If we send him with Scorpio, Luna's going to say he does not get his weapons. <laughs> yeah, Scorpio's probably dead. Scorpio's not a smart guy, unfortunately. Scorpio is dead. Don't, the da- no. Don't put that in the air. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the only downside to bringing him with us is we've already seen a lot of fire, and this man is a tree. He is a tree. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, honest so. to God, I really don't mind him coming with us. All that right. said, yeah, that said, as Nathaniel would say, uh, that is a win-win situation. <laughs> <laughs> Enoch, yeah. what is your opinion on this? I'm gonna, I'm gonna agree with Luna on this and say, if put him with Scorpio, but take his weapons. Okay, it oh, seems we're, we're it seems tie. that there is a split here. Mm-hmm. So with this split Kuro, decision, you have the, de- <laughs> Kuro, you have the deciding <laughs> vote. My hat, you have the deciding <laughs> vote. <laughs> if it lands on heads, <laughs> so <laughs> we are we are going to roll. Wait, a why don't deep- we just ask the guy? Oh. Uh, because he has ni- he has neither preference. Fine, that's fair. We can roll. God. Since it is split, we will roll a d2, and, uh, i.e. flip a coin, and if it lands on a 1, Magnus will be going with you guys, and if it lands on a 2, Magnus will be staying with Scorpio without his equipment. Does that come sound good? Come with us, come mm-hmm. with us, come with us! All yeah! Right. Damn it. <laughs> he is, he is going along with the party, staying at a safe distance, and you're going to keep an eye on him. Hooray! Fantastic. Okay. I'll flick my glasses, put them back on my face, and start walking. Yeah, What's that? Let's, yeah let's go. So this uh, one is the um, hot room, yes? Or is, this was the light. Uh, Wait, which one is it? I know the other room is hot, but was fire. The There's a heat. Uh, there is a heat. Okay. heat down while, there. So, while you do walk, Enoch, he, he just kind of like walking alongside you and he just kind of whispers to you, I do admire your companion's determination. I'd admire it if you would just leave, but you know, <laughs> best instructions are best not taken, right? Are y'all so done flirting with each other or are you going to come with us? <laughs> They're following along. Fuck. Right. <laughs> yeah, okay. I- so, going into this room... I will say that uh, behind this door, you guys can see that uh, there is a window in this door, and you can see, let me see, that there are some dim orange lights similar to behind the barrier, Uh. as well as a few small creatures kind of crawling along the floor as well behind this frosted glass. Could I, like, press my ear against the door to see if I can hear? Because I, what I think it is, it's like the little spider droid thing, so I just kind of want to see if I can hear, like, metal hitting metal. Like Yeah, you can. You hear clanging, uh, just like, king, 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 as well as a few voices speaking in common, muffled. You can't really understand uh, what they're saying because they're behind the door. Actually, you know what? Fucking Nathaniel's passive perception is so high. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes, I forgot. I am a walking sentry. <laughs> Right, you right, are. Right. <laughs> you forget. What do I see with my snake eyes? <laughs> you don't see much with your snake eyes, but what you can hear with your snake ears is a someone just shouting orders back and forth in a very angry and chaotic voice. You make sure that you go grab the other turret. Set up. Don't don't touch that. That's very fragile. Mm. There are people on the other end of this door. Uh, someone's barking orders to somebody else. I'm not sure what they are by the voice, but if I'm able to charm them, then we might be able to move through this situation without any other violence. And well, if you are, means. well, if you aren't able to charm them, pretty then sure we can take care of. <laughs> take a step forward. standing by. Do your lovely little thing. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. I was just going to ask Dabby, are you okay with me stand- standing five feet behind you? Or do you want me to stay back where I am? I can't decide what you do. Uh, Luna would be following Nathaniel's orders. That's why I'm asking. 
Nathaniel did not give orders to Luna. Okay, well then I'm being right here then, because you are very squish. That, you do what you would like. Okay, so you guys are gonna go through. I will say Magnus will simply stay with an eye shot back here, because I'm bad at running NPCs. Uh, and when you open the door, you see a large room full of four pools kind of uh, of lava with uh, or rather molten magma, molten iron uh, that are closed off by uh, metal fences, gates, you know, to stop you from falling in, as well as many, many pipes lining the walls and a bunch of spider mines patrolling the area. You also see mm. that there are two uh, oaken bolters kind of behind two of the pools of lava that seem to be automated. Oh no. They're running on their own. And you can see like that. that this wall right here is some more frosted glass. And you can see behind it that there is a goblin that seems to be pushing a bunch of various different buttons on a mechanism that looks akin to the button that was controlling the Modrons in the other room. I have a couple questions. Mm -hmm. oh. uh, first, is this like a glass wall or is this just a, a weird thing in the... That is the glass the... wall, yes. That entire wall at the okay. bottom is a, fro is a frosted glass wall. How thick the is the glass? Well, there, you would have to take a closer look to find out. <laughs> And then uh -oh. I assume this is the guy that sounds a little bit like Robbie Rotten barking yes. orders to other people. <laughs> Don't touch that. <laughs> That's what I heard as soon as he said that. I'm like, oh, it's Stephen and Carl Stephenson. Yeah. Have you ever seen automated guns before? Would you like why? to? <laughs> why did you put... I, I'm not going to see it as anything else now, Debbie. Damn it. Sorry. <laughs> I'm very good at calling things other things. It's like my main joke. So I will give you guys a chance to do one thing before we roll an initiative as he is still preparing for what it looks like. He is not taking his eyes off of his little mechanism, and he's pushing buttons, rewiring things, barking orders to people in another room. Oh, I have the perfect answer to this. Do it. Uh, I would like to slip out of my yellow outfit and unhat, and as I peel myself, I'm gonna take off the, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna take out the the device, my, like, cause I took, I took the device that controls all of the Modrons, right? Mm -hmm. And he has a very similar device. Yes. Now, here's why I wear the yellow outfit. It's so that if I take the yellow outfit off, there's suddenly no, like, description that people give outside of Big Yellow Man. <laughs> this right. is why so, I called you the Banana Man. Yeah. You're so in some my, basic garbs now. Yeah. My intention with this is I'm going to try to do effectively the same thing that I did session one. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Uh... So I'll give everybody else a chance to do whatever they would like, but that is what I am preparing. I'm standing by. I'm just waiting I'm, for spring. I'm going to rack a shot for that dude okay. in case all things go to hell, and I am going to pray to God that this glass is not bulletproof. We'll have to see. Or resistant. I'm about to say, bulletproof doesn't exist. Bullet resistant. Arrow proof. I, I apologize. Yeah. Right. Now, as this goblin would say, here's a little lesson in trickery. <laughs> yes, what do you do? God damn it. Uh, I'm going to take a few steps forward. Okay. And I'm going to have the, the object, the re remote, clearly in view as I call out, your device isn't working because you haven't set it up properly. Hmm? Ooh, who said that? The twin tabaxis on the other end asked me to come over here and help you because they imagined that you would do something foolish. The great Ketling would not do something foolish. Those tabaxi are the ones who are the fools. Yes, that's what I told them, but they wouldn't listen, and I am not high enough ranking to outvote them. Regardless, the great Ketling does not recognize you. Who are you? He just, like, Dance. presses his face up against the glass. You can see <laughs> that he's got, like, large <laughs> goggles. And you see, his, is... you see his full face. Here, let me show you. Oh, Dear what God, what do you want? I love this man. <laughs> Squished up against the glass is like, yeah, him? thanks for standing still. All right, understood. Okay, he, okay. he fits all three things. He's a goblin, he has a name, and he has art. He has to be adopted. We have to. 
We must do it. We have to see him. him. We- Grickyak needs mm-hmm. a friend. Yeah. Yep. Grickyak. Grickyak anyway. needs a business partner. Uh, so, business so, together. Sorry. So he presses his face up, just smushes it up against this pane of glass. And inwardly, Nathaniel thinks, well, this is easier than I thought it would be. And I'm going to glance down with my glasses. I'm going to look at him. And I'm going to say, I'm a friend of yours. I'm here to help. Isn't that right? And then I'm going to cast suggestion. Ooh! Ooh. Ooh. Give me a suggestion. Yeah. DC 15. Okay, you suggest a course of activity and magically influence. Okay, so what is the course or, of action you are suggesting? Or perhaps perhaps I shouldn't suggest him. I will charm person. It's the same ah. idea. It's just a okay. different spell and it's literally... He sees you as a friend. Yeah, effectively, yeah. Okay. Though so are any of you are computer in front of it. He is not fighting you, so okay. Yep, all right, and DC 15. Let's see. Okay. This is good. This is good? This is not good because he's no, succeeded. This is good. No, oh, this is no. good. No. <laughs> no. Okay. Wait. We're but... going to have to stibby stabby a goblin. All he... right. Can I ask? <laughs> hmm. All right. How, no. how does he respond then? He he responds. He's just looking. He's rubbing his face on the glass and you can hear like the squeaking <laughs> while he's trying to get a look at you. You are not in. You are not in. Uh, uh, planning? I do not recognize you. Who are you, really? And he presses a few beeps and boops on his machine. Jenga, Jenga, Jenga. And the oaken bolters both aim at you, and these Spider-Mans stop moving, and all kind of Uh, are waiting on standby. Wait, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm very scared. I am (laughs) merely here as a follower of your own opulence. You must understand. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna try to take like just a little shimmy forward. Okay. My hands need, are up. I need a performance. Ooh. Can it be deception or deception? It doesn't you have know to what? Be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Deception. I was gonna okay. say to show that you, but yeah, deception works it, too. It, it's up to you. If it's performance, it's performance. I say either your choice, performance or deception. Well, I have a clear choice here. That was yeah. a two. God damn it. Oh, Fuck. No. Okay, hey, um, Joe, I know mm-hmm. that we all had like uh, our, our one thing we could do before this happened. Yes. Could my one thing have been preparing to run in in case it went bad? <laughs> yes. Shelby, I'm gonna take say your dice it, luck back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be clear. This is the point it would be, it would go yep. bad because this was okay. not enough. That's deception yep. was not enough. That's and it fair. would go bad. Right. Do your one thing. I, I'd like to run into Shield Nathaniel then. I don't okay. want Nathaniel Aww. to get stibby stabbed. I, I am okay. I am irate. I cannot believe this. <laughs> I, All right. mm. <laughs> no, it's okay. So right. Luna, take Jenga. your dice luck back. I want it. <laughs> I don't want this. <laughs> I can't roll bad. Listen, you gave it to me last week. You have to take it back. No, I didn't you give it. This wasn't place. mine. <laughs> okay, so that fails. Enoch, what, you want to fire? Yeah, fire. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to I'm going to make this a dead eye shot, so make it advantage. <laughs> All right, make it advantage and show me the attack. All right. Uh do, do, do. I it, still please. have a plan. Mhm. Mhm. Oh my god. It's yeah. just it's just we're we're on the improvised section of the plan. Oh, Renee, what I did say, you want to do? Yes. Um I am going to cast sleep first level just directly aimed at this guy. Okay. But I'm going to wait until everyone is taking their shots because right, right, I know right. that he's going to take damage first. Right. So oh. let him take oh, the boy. damage and go ahead and do all that crazy shenanigans. And yeah. then okay. I well, will Okay, well, that will go off after Enoch's shot then. Yep. Perfect. Love it. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we oh, go. Wow. Okay, yeah. All right. There all right. You are. So Ooh. the let gable. Me, uh, let me see the advantage in case you crit. The okay. Bagel. Okay. <laughs> you fire. Let me see the damage. You fire the gavel, you aim right at the little goblin, and you fire, pew, and it hits the glass, and there's a large crack. The glass (gasps) is still okay. The goblin jumps back as, like, the bullet completely lands, like, where his face was. (laughs) He falls on his butt, (laughs) and he presses a button on the uh, thing, and Renee, right before he does, you're going to cast sleep. Yep, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Show go to sleep. me sleep. <laughs> I have to make sure that I'm casting it at first level because I don't want to spend any more big old spells. There we go. Okay, roll the 5d8 <laughs> for me. And I will roll 5d8. 18! 18 is not enough. Damn it! Ah, damn it. He falls, oh, he falls on his butt, presses the button, and all the spider mines light up, and the oaken <gasps> bolters aim at Nathaniel. Everyone roll for initiative. Okay! <gasps> oh! Oh, 
Oh, no. I'm, uh, I'm in a good spot then. Okay. As as he presses it, wait, no! You are handsome investigator protectors told me about! Handsome? I, I'm so tempted to look to Luna and say, you are? Ah, <laughs> oh, oh, if only Nathaniel it. were like this. It again. Oh. Uh, and I'm, I'm sweating. To protect your ass too. Wait, why I'm did I'm sweating you, like, just I a little bit here. Wait, it didn't. But... Come on. Okay. I, I initially, okay. I initially rolled a twenty, but I, I'm assuming I'm at the top, Aww. no matter what I do. Uh, I'm not sweating you, anymore. I'm happy. If you rolled a natural Yay. twenty, yes, you are. Uh, let's see. Okay. Well, um, the thing is, he rolled a twenty first, like dirty twenty. Yeah, it was a dirty twenty. Roll it with the avatar. Oh, one. okay. Yeah. 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 So, so either way, okay, what did you roll? Fourteen. Okay. I rolled a fourteen. Okay. So everyone goes before. Okay. A dirty twenty. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yay. Okay. You know, you go first. You have. Damage the this thick window. All right, uh, <laughs> I'll I'm gonna do it again. All right, I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> only this time, hopefully, I don't need an advantage. Uh, okay, twenty-six. Yeah. Very easy to hit this uh, this glass. Yep. And because you rolled With so high, I'll say you hit it in a similar area as you first hit it, i.e., a weaker spot. And the cracks go even further. <laughs> and this thing is getting close to being shattered. You can tell. All right, and then I, I point, uh, I point my my corgi boy to three, four, five, six, to get right about here. Can I have him bark at this, this one? All right, show me the range attack. Okay, here we go. Fifteen. Fifteen. That's enough. And how much damage does it do? All right. Three. Three. (laughs) There's a sonic borf. That goes off <laughs> and hits this <laughs> bork spider mine, and it explodes <laughs> in a small area. Oh, it's no bother. That's what it does. That's adorable. <laughs> like because it didn't work last time, so Renee's like pointing at the dog. That's what is. That's what it does. Yeah, that's what oh. it does. <laughs> yeah, Luna, yeah. your turn. Okay, Takes so I have to. I have to do a series of events here. Mm-hmm. Going to take five steps forward, and bonus action, Echo Dad. Echo Dad. Just, just, just right there. <laughs> okay. Uh, and I'm going to take my attacks from Echo Dad. <laughs> nice. Uh, so I'm going to move five feet back, back to cover Nathaniel. Don't worry about me. I'll wor- I won't worry about you when you're not in the middle of this. Give me five seconds. Uh, and uh, Echo Dad's going to attack the glass and try to get to the mo- <laughs> through to the gnome. Goblin. He is a oh, goblin. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We fought a gnome last week. Listen, <laughs> guys, did, yeah. it's been a day. <laughs> yeah, it has been. All right, show me Echo Dad's attack. Uh, absolution. Okay, yes, 20, hey! 22 is enough, and 10 shatters the glass. Hey! You can now walk through this area. Well, uh... You're welcome. I'm not responding to that uh, as I take another bash at, uh... At the goblin, non-lethal damage, of course, but... Okay, eight is not enough. The goblin just, like, okay. swiftly moves, kind of rolling out of the way, you know, while he's just skittering. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, yeah, no, that's my turn. I'm just gonna keep Echo Dad there. Nathaniel. Oh, also, I'm one thing. To... Luna, since you moved out of the way of this pipe and then moved back in, that triggers the pipe. And oh, the pipe... No! What? The Luna! pipes are all trapped! The pipes are all trapped! <laughs> Stop helping me! <laughs> Hold on. Ba, 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 I'll help ba, you with your this. Click. Uh oh. Since this this pipe spews out some hot steam, uh, I'm gonna need both Luna and Nathaniel, who are caught in its conal area, to make uh. Uh, Constitution saving throws. Ah, my good stat. No. Okay. My ah, my good boy. stat. Oh, your good stat. Oh. Yeah, my good stat. Oh, we're okay. You guys are able oh. to withstand the pressure and heat of the steam, so it does not affect you, luckily. Very glad I did okay. this. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. Right, my turn. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, I will not shoot Luna a nasty glance because there's no way she could have known, but I will walk yeah. around her uh, calmly, step over this. Gl- well, actually, how far was that? That was one, yeah, you're two, also three, right four, next four to five. A pipe. Yeah, yep, that's fine. That is a pipe. This pipe right sure? here? Yes. Are you yeah. sure? Oh, that's. Oh, that th- in that case, I'm going to stand right here. I'm going to look at the goblin man, and I am going to calmly say out, say to him, in truth, we ne- I never was going to be helping you. Uh, the tabaxi are both dead. There's nothing that can be done. 
You should surrender now. Why are you still chair? Why are you still can? And I cast suggestion. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Okay. Yes. Yes, sir. Now, please fail. Now, the goal <laughs> is to roll lower than a 15. That's the like, that's like, that's The goal is to be suggested. Peak. Yeah, the, that's peak. You don't want to roll higher than that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when you play 21 pickup or whatever, you know, you don't want, I don't know. He does not take to failure very happily, although he is not saddened by his uh, com- hearing about his companions l- losing their lives. He's just like, what? Those tabaxi? Oh, the great Catrig is very unhappy. What it is? And he fails. Yay! So he surrenders. Yes. Yay! Yes. He Does puts, he disable his dudes? He puts the mechanism down. Those stupid mate hags. The great Catrick told them not to hire them. Ugh. Stupid job. He just sits down and crosses his arms. The great Catrick knew not to take this job. I'm going to wander over. I'm going st- to stand, step over the broken glass daintily. I'm going to gently pick up the machine. Uh, and I will put a hand on Ketrig's shoulder because I am his friend. <laughs> uh, that said, uh, uh, unless I am also allowed to, like, turn off all of these machines, which I feel like would be too much for my turn to do. Oh, shit, we're still in combat. Yeah, you're still yeah, in combat. It's, it's technically not over, so, like, yeah. I, I'm not going to automatically combat. turn them off unless I can, but if that would be too many things to do on my turn, I would then, say, yeah, um, that, like, takes a full, yeah. that takes a full action to do. Totally. Well, my hand is on his shoulder. We are friends. I am a friend to this man. Okay. That's all I want to be. That's my turn. I can't do <laughs> Renee, this. Renee, your turn. Well, from what I can see and hear ish, it sounds like there was a little bit of chaos and now it's kind of like calmed down a little bit. So I am going to like make my way inside, but not before picking up Nathaniel's clothes and making sure they're not on the ground because that's gross. Ah. So I'm going to keep those on me. Yep. Good, good. Yep. You're, you shouldn't have to put them on the ground. I'm just going to hold on to them and come in the room. <laughs> okay. Yep, yep. Uh, you don't have to move. Actually, not... you wouldn't. Uh, yeah, I, I you probably am not going to move. I'm... So Renee's just going to kind of like chill out right over here and like be holding on to the clothes and just observing. Um, I am actually like probably going to toss the clothes like sort of like all around me, if that makes sense. Like on my shoulder or something. It's just to make sure this shit, it doesn't get on the ground. But I'm going to get my crossbow ready. Okay. Just because I don't trust it. Nah, I would trust it. Just kidding. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. I mean, if you want to, we can consider it a held action, but, like, I wouldn't think that Renee would be thinking that, so... Uh-huh. I'll just, I'll just say that she comes in the room, so... Okay. Just yeah. there, then? Thumbs up. Just there. Yeah, just hanging out. Just okay. Chilling. At seeing you subdue Enoch, you can hear just Magnus just observing, and you can see that he's taking notes as well in a little notebook. Fascinating observing Nathaniel. And while this is going on, and Nathaniel, you're in that room, you can hear a voice from this room, in this direction, kind of coming by. Hey, boss, uh, all the mechs got activated. Did you, uh... And you can see that there's a tiefling that walks in, one that you do not recognize, but is very much dressed like the protectors. And he sees you, uh, as well as, as kind of seeing Luna and Renee behind the glass, and he goes, oh, shit! And he starts to run back into the room. Oh, no. Well, fuck. Next. Uh, Enoch's turn. Unless, now, since he's in another room, they're not going to come back in here. Would you guys like to... Actually, I'm going to end an initiative I would say that it's... Oh, I, I am going, going to try to chase after this guy, yeah, if possible. Yeah, we're chasing okay. now. Right. Yeah. 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 So, that we're still technically in combat. It's just that Ketrig would not be there anymore. It would be Tiefling yeah. instead. Because gotcha. the, the so great goblin, he's, yeah. he's done. Yep. Yep. Yeah, no, I I would also like to go after this guy. So, um, if we can stay in initiative for that. I have a moral problem right now. Mm -hmm. (sighs) Oh, God. And it can't be immediately justified. Okay. I am going to. I I have a feeling that I know, but I I hope you can trust me. You'll get your chance. All right. Uh, that's fine. Um, full action uh, dash to get to the other side of the rooms. Okay, okay. Three, four, five, six. I can get up to Luna uh, with my full 
with my full movement. Okay. Uh, and to Sankuro, and to put him right behind good old Echo Dad. And that's as far as. Oh, no, wait, no. Uh, his dash. Oh, sweet. Yeah. His dash. You want to know what? No, he's supposed to be sticking next to Nathaniel for a reason. So I'll, I'll stop him. Stop him at Nathaniel, and pretty much uh, stick by. And that's pretty much it. That's that's gonna be it for my action. All right. Next is Luna. Uh, it's Ghost of Yesel time. I'm gonna bonus action change places with Echo Dad. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to use the rest of my movement and my dash to bolt down that hallway and end yep, up yep. here. Okay, yes. Is that all of your movement to reach there? Okay, there yep. I would say you'll be able to see this in the room. You can see that there's a tiefling, a red dragonborn, and an automated uh, oaken bolter in that room. Ooh. As well as oh, no. a kind of lava uh, molten pool. However, there are grates uh, of a different make from the other one mm. in the other room. Mm. No well. trust. No trust this. <laughs> I no trust that, this. That's a problem. You can see I that the, the dragonborn Wait and the tiefling are confidently standing on them as well. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Echo Dad dissipates because he's out of my range. So let me delete him. And that is my turn. Action, bonus action. Yeah, I'm good. I have, an 8D ch- I have an 8D chess play. Mm-hmm. All right. Show me your 8D chess play. Uh, I'm going to... I, I, I'm going to calmly like nod to Ketrick and say, I will be right back. Stay here, don't worry. And then I'm going to walk over here. I'll see all of these problems. <laughs> <laughs> and I will say to these people very calmly, you are the last two people inside of this facility. There are four of us and any one of us could take out all of you. You should surrender now while you have the chance. I'm not going to charm them. I, I just want to see the reaction. Just wanted to say oh, that. Okay, you just can just well, up that's, like that's not my that's not my action. I just want to see what their reactions would be. You can give me an intimidation for that. Okay, you were the only two alive. Uh, and just to accentuate that, I'm then going to take the remote that I have from Ketrig, look at these mines, and arm them. <laughs> and then, and I would like to walk them a little bit closer towards those two. I don't yep. know if they walk on their own normally, but... Yes, I'll say they do walk close. Uh, you just want them to get close? Yeah, I don't want them... Like, I don't want them to immediately jump on the two, but I also don't want them to... I, I want them to be threatening, but not deadly. Yep. You can see... Uh, give me that intimidation, by the way. All right. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> you did just three bombs Woo! towards these people. You did yeah. just literally walk three explosives oh, towards these so, motherfuckers. That's so good. I wish they had so bad to make the sound effect that they would make. The thing is, he's not wearing his like banana gear either. He's just like straight up like regular garb too. So he's just a really terrifying man. It's just like walks up, starts making these robots while over dot mp3 fart sound effect as it echoes through the room. You see the tiefling and dragonborn look at each other. The dragonborn, she's like, this is just one of his tricks. Don't fall for it. And the tiefling's like, do you want to take that chance? And she looks at the mines and she just, she drops her crossbow and so does the tiefling. They're pacified. Oh, that's beautiful. Very good. Well done. Uh, for now, I will say with that initiative is over for now. Yay! As there is a door here. Okay. Um, does anybody have any objections to me going in and tying these bastards up? I was just <laughs> about to suggest that. Yeah, no, please tie them up. Yep, yep. Yep. All um, right, on your knees, hands behind your back. <laughs> Both of you. Yep. They handily uh, just let you put them in kind of wrapped up, and they're like, what happened to Ketrig? He was supposed uh, to guard the entrance, that stupid greenskin. Dang. Offensive. That, uh, Murder's like, one thing, but can racism? I, can I, like, <laughs> but I, I don't want to do this to, like, legitimately call, to cause damage. Can I just, like, smack the one who said that? Like, that's racist. Oh, yep, that, that was the dragonborn, and you smack her. She's like, ow, sorry, sorry, jeez. You know, you may be a low life cell sword doing absolutely terrible work, but we expect at least some level of humanity from people. Come on. The tiefling just looks at her. Yeah, dude, messed up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
as uh, Nathaniel does walk back to this room as I'm climbing over the window, I kind of stop him and just to kind of look him in the eye. I need to tell you something. Like, the truth. Oh? Have you not been telling me the truth? Well, I've always been telling you the truth. You know that. Right, so what is it now? It's about Magnus. Yes, your tree friend. Associate. What about him? When I met him, he told me something that I don't want to believe, but I kind of figure it might be what you are. And I also am a little (sighs) curious about his dubious intentions. You're going to need to be more specific. What do yeah, you what he is is very fucking vague. Magnus told me something that I can't completely disbelieve, but cannot completely believe that you are, and if I'm saying this correctly, reforming necromancers. I'm going to look over to Renee for a moment, and I'm going to look back to you. And if for some reason such a slanderous thing were to be made true what would you do then I would commit myself to continuing the path in which I've set for myself as you say this Enoch you feel a very slight sharp pain in your head and you can hear the voice of Alter screaming in agony if what you're doing is right and I believe that it's right. And I have been wrong for so long. I need to know. I want to see the results. You have... You've done something now that... You haven't done for me before. You've told me the truth before, yes, but never when it was difficult. That will be repaid. When this is over. Well, this. And I have one and I more truth. Out to this. I have one more truth. Before uh, you do that, do you want to li- get rid of your little earworm? You know, the sitting right next to you, just kind of. <laughs> Believe there? me, uh, he won't be. Like, <laughs> he won't be it, telling anybody anything. Uh, okay. He's fine. He's folding his arms and he's just like, the great Catherine is too upset for your petty squabbles. <laughs> I appreciate you, Sally. Continue. Thank you, thank you Catherine. You're actually pretty cool if you think about it. It's just his name. Yep. But what's just this other thing? Magnus told me he was a protector. No, he didn't. Did he? <laughs> no, he said he's not. <laughs> I thought he did. No, he he. Uh, he said he was part of the protectors. No, he said he's he not. No, that was the, he deliberately when you when you pulled a gun <laughs> oh. on him when he he deliberately said that to dissuade you. I thought he. That's the reason why I pulled the gun on him was because of the the protector. No, thing. you you pulled a gun on him as soon as he walked in. And asked, "Are you Enoch?" <laughs> no. I I, re- I rewatched the session. That is what happened. Oh I remember God. so fucking clearly nope. that he said, "Nope." nope. I'm, he have said, it out in the comments, chat. Yeah. Did Enoch pull a gun on a random person? He, 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 <laughs> this is not a protector. Yeah. yeah. All right. So. All right. So he's. Yeah. Why did I? Why am I still remembering that he's telling me? In any in in any case, bringing it back, Nathaniel uh, mentions when this is all (laughs) over, and I motion towards all of this. I will (laughs) repay your truth with the truth of my own. You don't have to do that. I know, but you didn't have to tell me anything. Magnus is dangerous. He is trying to hurt you. I don't know what for or for what reason might be attached to all of this, it might be attached to none of this, I just... Just tell me you're doing the right thing. Enoch, there has never been a moment, or even if I had to make a difficult choice, that I was not doing the right thing. I extend out my real hand, then I trust you. And I am going to take it, and I will say, good because we are going to need it enoch give yourself an inspiration for that oh, <laughs> i didn't have to lock you guys in a room to, head to get along Yay! 
like, we just have to put a life-threatening situation in front of you. I mean, it was going to be a life-threatening situation if you two didn't get your shit together soon. True. <laughs> I think fucking Lynn right. and Renee were going to lose their shit. Yeah. I, I, I've been trying to find the time to, to do this, but, like, it's... Now that he has to stay here, I'm just, it's got to be done. It's mm -hmm. got to be done. I have to say something. <laughs> that is, that was a very tough part, a yeah. uh, tough thing for good. Enoch to do. Yeah, and no, uh, yeah, great. I think that's worth an yeah. inspiration. Uh, you that know, while, very good. while this is happening, uh, it doesn't, he doesn't hear, he's not within earshot of this, but you can see that Magnus is just slowly taking in this entire place and just looking at all the mines. Well, you took quick work of these. Well, oh. he is a professional. Renee will like, Hand Nathaniel's cloak. I'm gonna take them and I'll say, We are professionals. And if you would like to be a professional for all of two minutes, I'd like you to come over here and watch Ketrick for us while we go into a more dangerous part of the facility. Mm. Very well, as you wish. He comes by and keeps watch, unsheaths his sword at the <laughs> ready. Speaking of uh, <laughs> looking at the uh, more dangerous ways ahead, I was hoping I could maybe uh, stealth around and check around this corner while they were having their heart to heart. I just didn't want to. I didn't want to interrupt the scene. Oh, totally. Yeah. No, that's that is right. totally that's right. fine. Valid. Uh, in there, so you're able to see what looks to be a connecting room, and behind it is, uh, in there is a large door that leads to a larger room, um, and behind the frosted glass. It's hard to see, but I would say, looking through the glass, you can make out that there are four humanoids in there with one large something. One large, like, silhouette of something, some amalgamation of shapes and parts, kind of in the back of the room, as well as a bunch of other small things on the floor. Four humanoids, uh, more dim glowing orange, and yeah, one large thing. Aren't any of them moving? Uh, you can see that the four humanoids are moving around. They're shuffling about. Some are uh, kind of going to each other. It looks like they're talking with each other in hushed whispers that you can't hear. A uh, few of them just, it seems like they're waiting for something. Uh, okay, um, then yeah, I just want to sit here and wait for everybody because uh, when I see people come in, I'll kind of give a motion to be quiet and, that, and relay the information that there are these individuals. Mm -hmm. As I leave, I'm going to control the spider bots in this room so that they surround Ketrig, just <laughs> as a precaution. Because if we get into a fight, I might have to drop suggestion, and it's a concentration, so I want to make sure that he doesn't go anywhere. Yeah. And I, as much as I respect the danger of the tree man, I don't think he's going to stop an angry goblin from doing what goblins <laughs> ought to do. <laughs> I mean, you're taking the mechanism from him, right? Oh, yeah, that's how I'm controlling the mines. Yeah, the, this okay. is mine. He doesn't control these guys at all. He's just oh, yeah, a goblin. No, no. I was just making oh, sure that we weren't wait. leaving it with him in but, case you did lo uh, drop yeah. your suggestion. But gob yeah, uh, but goblins still have, like, teeth. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I wanted to ask and see if Ketrick had a key. A key? And some keys. Yeah, Ooh, some keys because, um... Yeah, in the know. last room. Yeah. I know oh. that we see a, I know that we see a, a big, beautiful lock over here. Yeah, yeah there's but, a big, beautiful lock. We can deal lock. with that later. So asking Ketrick for any locks for that door, he responds, which Ketrick did pre-war parts, reverse engineering difficult, too many variants, not enough uniformity, who thought such molds were such a good idea? Ketrick frustrated, gave up. That's fair. Okay. So these are like old, old. Well, uh. That was a sentence. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't no time you know, like the president. This is the reason can... why I like goblins. They're very creative with their words. <laughs> Come on, Kuro. <laughs> But yes, you may <laughs> attempt to pick this lock as well. It is. Uh, Are you feeling bold there, or do you want to do something else? In the other room. Uh, as I look at the lock, Luna. I'll move this out of the way. What? Would you like to pick the lock? <laughs> no, you have my tools. Go for it. Oh, <laughs> round be, two. This round would two. be the time. You know what? This would be the time okay. to either really stand up for yourself, or you actually. You know what? Them I'm going to. Uh, I, I'm making locks in me. Remember? I'm going to oh, reach my hand oh, out. Please. I'm going to reach into Enoch's mind a little bit, and I'm going to impart upon him my knowledge of picking locks, <gasps> as I, as I bardic charm an inspiration onto him. Oh, oh fuck. double inspiration. Yeah. Well, that's if you actually wanted to use that inspiration, inspiration from the thing with pick locks. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, I, I, mean, I pull yeah. out the tools. Good luck. I'm going to uh, I'm going to use the initial inspiration I got in the conversation with Nathaniel, and then what's the role for Bardic inspiration? I think a D8 right now. Let me yeah. check. It's a D8 okay. now. We're level six. Should be a D8. Okay. Okay. So uh, yeah, it's a D8. Slide a hand. Okay. Eight, ten. Okay. There. There's okay. So that's the advantage. So you're immediate. So you're D8. gonna immediately spend your inspiration then. I, I would yeah. say I, I would say roll the bardic inspiration first to see how much it is because maybe an 18 is enough if you roll an 18. You know, ah! maybe you go as high as you can. All right, yeah, that's fair. That's you, fair. You 22. Spend, you just want to spend your inspiration immediately. That's fair. Yep. 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 It works. So uh, that will be a 22. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Yes. With a 22, you pick the lock. <laughs> and it drops down and you can see, after you pick it, you see the mechanism that it's attached and it's wired to what looks to be a light in the top of the room. This thing was rigged to set off an alarm of some kind. Oh! <laughs> However, you have disabled it. Congratulations, you've opened the door and you have oh. two chests of loot. Oh! You just oh, hear I... a slow clap from across the room. <laughs> Renee will join in, just- Look, Luna, I did it! <laughs> Yes, wonderful. Is there anything right. else you would like to say? Oh no, you're just going to run in there? All right, that's I fine. I will be very upset <sighs> if you pull this shit on me again. That's it. What? I mean, this place has been shut down and abandoned for 80 years. What could these chests possibly wait, be? Wait, wait, hold on. Before you open them, I, I, I that's just- That's what I'm thinking. Let me, that's let me, I'm thinking. Uh, let what? me go be no. next to the idiot. <laughs> G give yeah, e no, uh, give Enoch his space. Let him be his thing. Let him be an idiot Hulk by himself. Also, Enoch alive, all right. As much as you know, I would love to leave him to get his ass kicked. Can we leave him alive? I mean, that would be yeah. Barrett. I promise. He's an he's yeah, no, an no, no, angel. No, if he it, dies, God will send him back down. <laughs> I'm an angel too, and that's not how that works. I don't. <laughs> have you died before? Okay, 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 okay. Well, okay, I okay, okay. fear the moment I die because we still have another problem with that. Okay. Okay. With that though, so, treasures. Okay, so, uh, yeah, let's go. Open so, chests. Uh, let's open one uh, of the chests. Do, do you want, which one do you want to do, top or bottom? She'll just tap this one. Okay, and then I'll do the bottom. All right. Oh no, no, I, I'm hoping you're you're doing it. She's uh -oh. just covering you. Oh, uh, uh, Luna's like, got both her swords out, and she's ready to basically bap away anything that might try to eat you. Okay, I'm gonna have Kuro set in the corner just in case he needs to bark. All right. <laughs> All I right. open the top one. You open the top one, and inside you can see that there is a potion of mana in there. <gasps> so oh. that, that will Both recover spellcasters one just go uh, <laughs> first level spell slot. <laughs> and you also see <gasps> that there is something that looks akin to a sword hilt made of uh, machine and various gears and a very metal handle of some kind. Just the hilt for some reason. Okay, um, I will take both. And you can see that on the hilt of the sword, there is some kind of button, like two button system that requires you to grip it tightly and pull kind of like a trigger system. It's a lightsaber. <laughs> oh. Holy crap, lightsaber. All right, uh, I'll, I'll look at that in a, in a few minutes. Yep. Uh, and then you wanna know what? I'll hold on to the, to the potion. I might pass that over to Nathaniel because he's gonna be using spells more than me. Uh, and then I will go ahead and <laughs> carefully open the bottom you open treasure it. chest. And inside, you can see that there are uh, two more wrenches similar to the ones that you found earlier. Okay, okay. And a pair of very sturdy looking, like old dusty boots. Very ornate and designed very similarly to the rest of the factory. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. Well, see, well, if they right. didn't explode in your face, I'm gonna start leaving now. <laughs> all right, I would thank like to you. Very, very, this is a small thing, but it's just for, for my own comfort. I'd like to take these two hostages, I mean, uh, prison. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like nice. to take these two friends uh, and nudge them just five feet to the to the right. Oh. Just as a sort of, if, you know, just as a sort of, while they're sitting there, if they happen to list over, they'll, you know, right. look at the lava. Right. Of course. Oh. And, and I'm going to say, now I would like you two to stay here and think about what you've done. 
they just look at each other, and you can see that the Tiefling just looks at the uh, Red Dragonborn, okay. and he just kind of gives her a look. Yeah, maybe some of us could use a little bit more tolerance. Okay. Uh, I walk over to Nathaniel. All right, so I found something really cool. I think it would be useful to you as I pull up the potion of mana. I will take it, and I'll look to Renee. How are you on spells? I'm doing all right. Um, in terms of my lower spells, I'm fine. It would be the upper ones I'm a little bit more concerned about. Um, mm. But I should be fine for now. Well, my lower ones are running out a bit. I'll hold by on to this, means, and then if you, you need it, it, I'll throw it to you. That sounds like a plan to me. All right. Good to always have this kind of stuff. Uh, I'm also going to jumble around in the bag up. Like, I have been reminded that I have a thing of oil of slipperiness. You do? Yeah! I went and got that from the shopping spree. <laughs> mm-hmm. I, I've also been reminded that I have a healing potion of greater size. Yeah! Uh, yes. I'm going to add that to my inventory because I never wrote it down unless that is something that I should not have. I'm announcing it now. No, so I gave it, it to you so you could add it to your inventory. You okay. Uh, healing potion... I specifically went on that shopping spree to get one thing yep. for everybody. Greater healing potion. What? Oh, I appreciate so it. So I, I'm going to hand that, that vial of oil of slipperiness to Kuro to carry. <laughs> <laughs> ha! Can homunculi carry items? I, I imagine he could carry something in his mouth just in case. Uh, yeah, I, I say simple task. He can do simple tasks like holding items. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, he's he's gonna he's just going to hold the, the vial of oil of slipperiness. Because right. I have an idea. Okay, <laughs> awesome. We'll see what happens. Also, one thing that I will say, since you guys were able to enter this room out of combat, you would know that these grates are very, very hot, and standing on them for too long would deal damage to you. Oh. However, since you're oh, out of oh, since you're out oh, of combat, oh, I would oh. say that you guys would have naturally just like <laughs> felt that and like avoided them. But yeah. now you know yeah. what they do. Ah, ah, okay, merde. So, oh, ah, ah, wait, so then, may, <laughs> then maybe I should take these guys off of the fucking grate. <laughs> yeah, no, they're, they're basically yeah, let's being put them, grilled. Yeah, let's put them there. They're toasty. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. No, yeah let, let's, put them, let's put them, like, here and here, and then the mines can be there and there so that they cut off right. exits. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is why deliberately they were chosen for this task, as they are both resistant to fire. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. oh. I would say it made sense that it was a tiefling and a dragonborn. Ah, <sighs> smart. Um, oh. Mm-hmm. What exactly is over here, Luna? Uh, there is there's a door. There's uh, how was it? Four individuals I could see moving around, shuffling, talking. Yep, yep. It's four people talking. Uh, a, a large thing too doesn't seem to be moving. We, All right. Uh, I didn't want to get too close uh, in case uh, I alerted them. I'm not exactly the uh, lightest foot person here. No, I'm. I'm very glad you didn't. Um... Do you guys want to say maybe just do what you're doing before? It seems like it's worked so far. Uh, yes, yes. I'll be ready to come in and knock people out if I need to, but I'll let you mostly do your job. I'm good at it. All right. Uh, Nathaniel, you, me, both, what plan? Uh, I would like to try out a an idea that I've had for a while. Oh, all right. I uh, like when you have if plans. You, if you'd like to come, you may, because it's going to result in a fight. Ah, uh, yeah, no, um. I'm going to go with you. Right. What uh, are Luna, you doing, you know, just so we know? Uh, I am going to start a fight. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Um, try not to get too close, and I'll keep you covered then. Thank you very much. All right, this is going to be interesting. Okay, I should probably bring it and bring uh, this back. Uh, I'd like to just, you know, say Echo Dad's out already. Yep. I'm just gonna. <laughs> hey, Dad, Dad, we're not Dad. getting to fight. <laughs> <laughs> Dad. We're gonna get into a fight. Gonna, Call my dad. <laughs> I'm gonna rack a shot, and then this I'm is... gonna have a. I'm gonna have Kuro just stay out of line of sight for the sake yep. of. Uh, uh, this is going to be very affin- funny. The <laughs> oh, please, just like before, each of you will have one thing that you can do before combat starts. If combat starts. Fabulous. Uh, I want to see what Nathaniel's about to do. I'm so ready yes. to start a fight. <laughs> Nathaniel, I'll say you have this much space to move before you do your thing, uh, i.e. Nice. these four spaces uh, above. So I'm going to hold my hands up. Uh, I'm going to hold my hands up in front of me, like like above me, as if surrender. I'm going to step here. Do I see anybody? 
Yes, okay, I'll reveal the rest of the room. Yeah. Since you open the double doors, and you can see oh. that there is... That's a lot of things. Four, there's another crystal very similar to the one in the Tabaxi's room, a bunch of pipes, some spider mines, and four humanoids, a tiefling, a human, a half-elf, and an orc, as well as a warforged, uh, a large-looking warforged at the end, hooked up with <laughs> wires oh, shit. that was leading from the other room. Oh, you do not is, want that to turn on. That's Trust that's me. Correct. In the other room. All right. I. What I am going to do is not immediately, like, aggressive, but it is only for aggressive purposes. So I feel like if I do it, we should roll initiative, and then, like, when it gets to my turn, it'll happen. But, so I'm going to walk into the room. I'm going to, like, hold my hands up. I'm going to say, I surrender. Okay. Uh, at this, I'm waiting for a response. I'm waiting uh, for a response. What this? What would happen when you do this? And mm. you know, I, I assume your action is locked in. That that is what you're going to do. Well, my action is a thing. So right. uh, I, I'm trying to like hold off for suspense reasons. Mm -hmm. But I will be casting a spell. Okay, is the idea. Hold up and surrender. Okay, stick. then I'm gonna go ahead and say roll initiative now. Yeah, because when sense. you do that, something very specific will happen. Yeah, that no, is like, Renee is very thrown off by that. And I can tell because what of her is, initiative. That what threw is her off. What is Shelby trying to say? She's been trying to to, to say a thing. <laughs> I was trying to see if I could uh, fix my positioning because I would have yeah, wanted to Yeah, fix your position before you roll initiative. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's right. yep, yeah, yep. yeah I just right I want to be here. Yeah. I'm just trying to make sure that I am five feet within Nathaniel yeah. and anything that might smack Nathaniel. That's fine. Aaron, so God damn it. Why are you I, always I, before so, me? So, ah. so here's the thing. I, I rolled a one. It it added. It, it unfortunately was still attached to Kuro. I apologize. Uh, so but you I, are the I four. am a four right okay. now. Okay. Now you will be going last because you rolled a nat one. Because. Yeah. That is how we're going to <laughs> so what? So I'm just one. I am Wait. the duality of man. How did I get the highest initiative? What the fuck happened here? Well, because I, what I like to think in character is that, like, hearing Nathaniel just go up and be like, I have a plan. I surrender. Renee's just like, what? <laughs> What? Why are you acting plan? like that is true? All three of us collectively go, what? At, at what point have I told the truth to people that I intend to beat up? <laughs> I No, the thing is just like, and she it always catches her off guard, I feel like. She fair. doesn't like hearing it. Like, that's, that's, yeah. that's a thing. She hates this plan. That's why. she. That's a fair. It's probably because he's no, done it a couple just... of times, so she's just like, oh, fuck, not this one. It's like, no, uh, this is a new idea. This is something like, I haven't uh, gotten a help. chance to do before. It's like, uh, it's oh, like okay, then I definitely have not. Like It's I, like, get help. It's, uh, yeah, I was going to say it's like get help. Yeah. Oh, you love get yeah. help. Yeah. <laughs> I hate it. It's, it's I awful. Hate it. I don't like it. It stresses me the fuck out. All right. But so, now like that, she's stressed out now. Also, now this would have been a thing, but uh, this up here, this darkened uh, thing, this would have been wall that the spider mines can climb on. Oh. So but. this right here, this is a wall. You walk in with your hands up. I surrender. And it causes the protectors to hesitate. We have rolled an initiative. Luna, you're up first. You go for the crystal uh, as soon as you can, but give me just a moment. I'll go for the crystal. She'll nod, um, and I think what Luna will do is, uh, I'm not gonna stow my swords. No, because I think I need my sword to do what I want to do in case. Let me just check them. I'm so sorry, I should have checked this before. I'm just checking the wording and something real quick. Uh, yeah, I don't have another simple weapon. I will lower them though. Um, and I will put, I'll put Retribution away. Absolution is the one I've oiled. Um, mm -hmm. And I would more or less like to hold my action until something comes closer to me or until Nathaniel gives me uh, a signal. Okay. And what, what will that held action be? To bap anything close to me if it's close or protect him. Okay. I'm basically waiting to either bap something or produce some damage on him. Hmm. All right. Yeah. All right. Nathaniel. What is the thing? Well, that that's you not going to be necessary because <laughs> hands up. I said I surrender. Do they respond in any way? They. Let's see. You can give me a deception. <laughs> this is with sure disadvantage this time. They can yeah, see that you've I've... gotten past things, and they are like the two in the back are holding crossbows aimed at you. What? The amazing fuck? that. <laughs> Yeah, amazing Woo! that this is Woo! so much better than my normal role. <laughs> it's because you're keeping your cool now. I did not that? even that mean a, to lie. That is a... Plus 10. Uh, it, is, it is because an I have 18. a plus 4. Okay, I was I yep. was curious what the 20 roll was. That is an 18. 
Yeah, uh, it is because oh. I have a plus four in charisma, and then I have two plus threes in 19 in deception. And uh, because of the fact that I have uh, expertise in it, man. I'm very good at lying to people. I was so excited for all. I was like, man, oh, they're gonna fight. They're gonna have cool combat stuff. No, it was just okay. I'm so they sorry. Believe, for this. They believe you. They believe you surrendered. Good. And they're. You can see that they're getting ready to go capture you. Good. And then I'm going to say, but I'm not quite sure that he does. And I point at this guy in the back, uh-huh. and I cast enemies abound. Oh. Ooh. So. So he's got to make an intelligence save, and if he does not succeed, then he will flip out and start attacking whatever's closest to him. Oh shit! Wow. And then every oh, time he takes cool damage, yep. Every time he takes damage, then he will repeat the saving throw. But the point is just to kind of cause mayhem. Okay. Uh, and then, yeah, right, right. <laughs> it must choose Let's the target at random among. Okay, I'm gonna oh, need to roll a bunch of different Let's dice for this. It, it, well, it is if if all of the enemies are equally close to him. Ah, I believe it is. Okay, uh, blah, blah, blah. so otherwise blah. he, does he attack the nearest? From among the creatures he can see within range of the attack spell or other ability that he's using. So like, if I guess that, I guess it's sort of like, if he's using a ranged weapon, then he rolls at random based off of all of the people that he can choose yeah, that's what for I, yeah, that ranged weapon. Yeah, that's what weapon. I meant. He's gonna have to choose yeah. among the different yeah. people he can see, the different targets. Yeah, but if he's got like a a weapon, like a normal stick or something, then he can only choose people that are immediately around him. Right. He does have a ranged weapon, but these two in the back both have crossbows. They have heavy crossbows. And he... Oh! Yep. He is gonna take aim at one of the spider mines. Oh, Oh, shit! Amazing! Uh, And then, and then after pointing at him, I push my hands forward as pink lines of light shoot out, connect with all my friends, and that you feel the in your mind an alacrity pushing you into the room you don't have to use the room or you don't have to go into the room but I am activating my mantle of inspiration which at this point we all understand Uh, but I will explain mantle of inspiration once more because it is a meme you you can now move up to your speed as a reaction and you also gain eight I believe Uh, yes eight temporary hit points and do not provoke attacks of opportunity yeah and yep. you do not provoke attacks of opportunity when you do so. As you all move forward, I move back. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> uh, I'll, uh, I'll take your spot, then. Bye. I need to yep. delete Echo I'm gonna stand because r- he's gone. I'm going to stand right back here. I'm going to look over to the dragonborn right there and give them a, a nod, like a knowing nod of, yes, this is normal. <laughs> and then I end my turn. All right. Yep, that and, that uh, suits him. Yes, yeah, so... That is exactly what, what you do. <laughs> well done. Goodbye. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> and you can see everyone bursts into the room, and the hesitant protectors uh, are just shouting, It's a trick! And, yep. <laughs> it's a trap! How On the protector's turn. That out a little too late. <laughs> On the protector's turn, you can see that the elf, uh, she tried to take a swing at you, Renee, as you run past, but she misses. Uh, the uh, orc. So, well, that was on your turn that she tried to take an attack of opportunity. Yeah. Instead, so, she's, she's going to walk gonna up here, and then she's yeah. going to try and strike you with her sword. That's okay. Uh, yes, and she does. She takes a strike yeah. at you, kind of cuts you across the arm. That's okay. And you will take four slashing damage. That's okay. That's in my this human That's still okay. is going to target, random, one of the, mm-hmm. one of the spider mines and fires at this one, <laughs> and it explodes. And the tiefling just goes, what the hells are you doing? And is going to disengage from you, Luna. Oh, um, well, he can't. <laughs> oh, because you have Sentinel. Sentinel! Yeah, so I'd like to take a, <laughs> <laughs> like to take a bath, please. All right, if you, if you now, hit, you will not be moving. I don't want to <laughs> fuck. I don't want to <sighs> fuck with these NPCs too hard, but... Uh, they wouldn't know she has have. They wouldn't know that she has Sentinel, right? And so they, they would, would still try to disengage. Yeah, that, that's what I would. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 that's what I was gonna say. Well, it's yeah. like he's he's trying to disengage regardless. It but didn't like, work anyway. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah and, but yeah, oh, that does not hit. He moves away, kind of near this way by the spider mine, and he is going to take a shot at you, Luna. Okay. My AC is 16 right now because 16. I do not have, uh, I don't have retribution out. I very ah, well, specifically put it away. That will be enough uh, in that case. And you also take four damage as a bolt goes, just whizzes past you as you kind of, it hits you. Ow, fuck. 
<laughs> well, actually, no, that didn't hurt at all. That was temp HP. Thanks, Nathaniel. Mm-hmm. Thanks, Nathaniel. And welcome. <laughs> the orc is going to try and stomp on Kuro. <gasps> no! How dare you? dare? <laughs> what is Kuro's AC? Uh, Kuro's AC, I believe, is 13. 13. That is enough, unfortunately. She stomps on no! it. I don't imagine Kuro has that much health. Uh, is, <gasps> is four damage enough? Uh, no, actually, he has one. Oh, yeah! Yeah. <laughs> yep, you just hear a little clang as she stomps on this little robo-dog, but it's not enough. Who just touched oh the boy? God. Who just Who touched the boy? I think that's all this happening. Yes. I see this happening in my eyeballs. <laughs> um, Renee, question your turn. time. Um, is this friendly, considered friendly? Because uh, Nathaniel has the button. It is considered a neutral just entity. Can I walk through it then? Yeah, probably. Cool. So um, I am going to disengage from the elf so that, and then move this way. So that is... 10 feet that way. Okay. And then I'm going to go another that's good because, 10 um, feet, 5, 10 over that way, which is another 20 feet. And then I'm going to go <laughs> 5, 10 over this wow. way. So now, I'm just, over here. Just so, just so I can explain how mechanically these work, and I don't feel bad explaining this because it's just, yeah. I, I would say you guys learn it naturally from standing on them before. Now, standing yeah. on them by, on their own does not deal any damage. However, if you stay on there for on the same spot for an entire turn, then you will take damage. Cool. Because it's like standing on a hot would spot it, for a long time. Would it be considered since, oh, no, 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 okay. It would have been on my next turn that it would have started taking damage then? Uh, if you had stayed in the same spot. Ah, okay. Cool. Okay, well, I'm over here by the crystal now. Yes, but that's all my you movement. are. That's all you gotta do? Um, let me look at what my bonus action. No, because Mage Head wouldn't do, well, actually, what is this crystal being held up by again? Uh, it is levitating on its own above a cool. sort of um, me- mechanism that seems to have a spherical like indent where the Warforged soul would go in. I disengaged, so that is not... Ah, damn it. Um, the May- May Chan wouldn't work because that's an action, so damn yep. it. I don't have any bonus action shenanigans that I could do other than inspiration, but I'm going to save that in case we need it. Okay, I've, okay. Used, uh, I've used two of mine already, so... All right, next is Kuro's Yeah, that's turn. my turn. <laughs> well, it, me and Kuro move at the same time. That's the reason why I said oh, we're both okay, on okay, one. okay, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll just get yeah, rid yeah, of Kuro yeah. on there. Yep. All right, so... I look up to this half-orc, and I say, how dare you? You ever heard of the legend of John Wick? And I pull up the gun, oh, and I God. take a fire oh, dead shot. <laughs> God. With how, advantage, how dare he? How how dare you introduce John Wick into this universe? <laughs> All right, show me, show me the gavel. I can't believe John Wick is canon. Oh yes, that's enough. <laughs> he was a he was a fire genasi. That's why they called him John Wick. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. So, Speaking of fire genasis, the gavel. The gavel, yeah, uh, yes, you fire at the orc, and uh, yes, that does hit. You can see that she's try, she, you know, you hit her kind of in the shoulder, knocking off a piece of plate. Does a decent amount of damage. Kuro, now, bark! <laughs> bark! 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 See the bark. Bark! 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 I bark. love how we turned four strike into bark. That's all bark. it is. Oh my yep. god! Bark. Hey, bark is enough. You Morph hurt. Kuro barks. Let's see how hard it barks. Oh, oh my god! Ah! Oh, Max damage! damage too. Oh my Max god, what a good bark! Kuro good barks boy. and the the just force just ripples through the orc and she seems a little worse for wear. Well done. All right, bark! and then, <laughs> oh god, that's all I can really do right now. Not gonna uh, move at all? Let's see. I could move closer to Kuro, uh, let me, Double check and see how long it takes. Uh, Damn it, I can't. I'll have to probably wait. Okay. Uh, Yeah, I can't use mending. It takes a minute. So. Okay. If you want to go back to your original spot, you can. Just like reverse what you did. Yep. (laughs) Just walk quietly back into the darkness. Uh, Luna. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, I see where Monet's got the crystal covered. So I'm just going to cover her. I know this will hurt me. I don't think Luna 
cares? Uh, uh, it will not hurt unless you stay on the yeah, surface no, that you started with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I will be staying there. I just do not think Luna cares about a teeny bit of fire. Um, I think she's a little tougher than that. As I want to bap the shit out of this tiefling, please. No, yeah, you won't. You won't take damage from this. You oh, have to. Oh. You have to stay on the same panel that you started your turn on to take damage. Ah, oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. So, well, like, uh, if you, if it gets back to your turn and you are there, then you okay. get screwed. I mean, again, it's fine. I'm just trying to cover you so that you do not get I crossbow bolted. I appreciate you. Yeah, so like, you have a beautiful board getting crossbow bolted, man. Uh, like, so, so absolution one. Nice. Yes, that's enough. Uh, the These oil affinities. Are like, uh, wait, wait. Uh -huh. Oh, damn it! No, that doesn't go. I was about to say my oil affinity. I this is the blade I oiled, so it's my crit range is increased on this. Ah, what is this? It, uh, it's not, it's a 13. 13, it's, 13. gotcha. Yeah. Yep. I crit on an 18 through 20, I believe, according gotcha. to the. Okay. Uh, so, yes, uh, okay, yes, you take a slash. Two. The second slash, unfortunately, does not connect as he is able to hold up his crossbow to. And you just kind of dig into the uh, wooden gray, grain mm -hmm. bit. Uh, I haven't used my bonus one. action, right? I don't think you have. You want to bring out Echo Dad? Uh, I wanted to know if drawing my other sword was a bonus action. I don't do this a lot. Wait, no, I, I have the two up and I have to, I, no drawing and stowing is uh, in one motion, I think, because of my feet. Yay! So right. I guess for for I'll to say my bonus action is pulling out my second sword to up my AC. Okay. Yes. All right. Now your AC seventeen. Yep, and uh, that'll do it for now. Let Echo Dead have a break. I might be able to do this. Okay, okay. Him. Nathaniel, you yeah, hear listen, clanging, booming, and banging from the other room. You can see ah. that the commotion, you have definitely caused a commotion. Uh, in that case, I'm going to one, two, three, four. I'm going to look around. Uh, I'm going to see that this man I exists and doesn't look like he's dying yet. That's weird. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, they said so that my dog. Who did? <laughs> the green one. The green one. What you know, did like, we just say? I lean my so. head <laughs> like to the side, and it, it, does the dog look hurt? Yes, you can see that it's like you can see sparks coming out of it. Some of its pieces are like oh, malformed. No. Yeah. Remind Sliver this man. <laughs> <laughs> Even Nathaniel has a heart for the okay. fucking corgi. We all have standards. <laughs> yes, we do. We have standards in this house. Uh, yeah, that mind sliver goes. These guys are not great at their saving throws. Yes, <laughs> you can see that uh, the orc she flinches a bit and, and looks at you. She's well, a little goodbye. perturbed. <laughs> Very well. Take a step to the side. <laughs> all right. Well, that's me. Okay. I did my big thing. I'm gonna save my spell slots for when yeah, I need them. No, no, Goodbye. You're good. You're good. Yeah. yeah. No, you're good. Have, have fun. Y'all have yeah. fun. Goodbye. Next are I the protector's you. turns. Uh, this protector, she's noticing she's gonna move around Kuro. Wait, what's this? And she notices that you guys are ganging up on her, and she's going to cast Burning Hands. I need both of you to make a dexterity <gasps> saving throw. Whoa there! Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. Slow Whoa. down, Marie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, that might succeed. Is that not succeed? Oh, oh, it's a 50 was in here nice. raving. <laughs> okay. Wow. I know what you want from me. All right, so, uh, Enoch, you oh, take 15 fire damage, and Nathaniel, uh -oh. you take seven. Oh. I'm gonna like, as, the, as I see the flames come out, I'm gonna press my back uh, up against Enoch so that he takes most of it. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm no, very I glad that him. we're friends now. Yep, yep. Nope, I got it. Uh, that said, what? I take seven, you said? Uh, yep. I do need to make a concentration save to see yeah. if this guy continues to be mm -hmm. completely insane, which he is. Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> nice, uh, nice. And I take seven. That is That leaves me with one temporary hit point left. I'm happy. Yay! And this one is going to get in close and try and take a swing at you as well, Enoch, with a melee sword. Oh God, do I need to I'm go sorry, help the Enoch. boys out? I you might need, need to go, go help, help the boys. boys. I'll be fine on my own. Luckily she rolls low. You are able to dodge out of the way. Okay. Uh, this guy is gonna try and disengage once again. Would you like to take an attack of opportunity? Yeah, uh, yes, yes I would. Show me. Bap. 19. 19 yeah. hits. He is stopped in his tracks as he tries to move out of the way, and you cut him kind of in his tendon in the back of his leg. 
And he trips. You know, it's rude to keep running away from a lady. <laughs> and he is going to try and shoot a point blank, which is going to mean disadvantage on his shot. Ooh. Ooh. Disadvantage was not enough. He shoots you point blank. And you take... Ooh, you take eight piercing damage as he fires a well, bolt and it's just lodges straight into your leg. Okay, so, uh, cool. Now, the cool. human is human is a bit crazy. Who does he target this turn? Wheel <laughs> the of... Nice. Whoa! Wheel of crossbow. <laughs> and he's going to fire at the orc. Yay! Yay! <laughs> okay, she fi- he Kill fires the at the orc. orc and it just pings off her armor. Ping! She just turns back to him. What the hells are you doing? I like the idea that... Uh, the way that I charm them is I like I raise their fight or flight response, <laughs> so everything just keep, like is perceived as a threat. Yeah, and regardless of whether they would normally like run away, in this case, they are not only filled with a lot of paranoia, but they're also filled with a lot of confidence. Like, <laughs> the, yeah, they can take it on. Yeah, it's the confidence of someone who just got spooked in like a haunted mansion <laughs> and goes to punch the monster. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yep. Anyway, Renee, yep, yeah, you go mine. next to the crystal. Grab, you plan to do. Grab crystal, it's mine. You go to grab crystal. I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Oh, fuck! Oh, no. Well, that's not good! Oh, no. I should have been closer. Oh, I'm okay! Okay. Okay, you're fine. So, you yeah, see, as fine. you reach for the crystal, you can see that there is a round magical sigil that appears before you're able to touch it, and it poof, hits your hand. It it tries to push you away, but you're able to hold your ground from the force. However, you do take nine force damage. Okay, so one, two, three, four, and then five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. I'm okay! Um, yeah, no, that hurt. I'm still going to d- yank it. You're, go- you're gonna go... So, I'm gonna Can, say that... It, wait, that, okay, wait. Does that, that mean is, that... I'll say that's your bonus action to grab it. Yeah. Um, if you would like to spend your action to grab it again, I can have you do another constitution saving throw. Oh, and this okay, thing, so, so it blocked know. your hand. It stopped your hand from oh. reaching the crystal. I should have specified. Okay, okay, sorry. I just thought it was a one-time thing. Nope. No, no, no. I appreciate you specifying for me. Um, There's some kind of magical barrier or ward. Did I see where thing. that uh, sigil was? Uh, it was right where you're, as you went to reach for your hand. But when you saw, when this magical energy rippled around, you can see that the thing is covering the entire crystal. Okay. Um... This is when I really wish I had certain spells that I don't have. <laughs> I can come smack it. <laughs> I don't think that'll help. help. <laughs> I don't think that'll help. I'm trying to... I mean, the one thing I could maybe do right now, I don't know how well it would work, but um, you know what? Would I be able... First off, before I start wasting any more spell slots, would I be able to see like where this magic might be originating from? Uh, You can make an arcana check if you would like. But I will say that will take your action to take to basically That's take okay. the time to analyze yeah. this in full. Yeah, basically, like she's gonna say out loud too, and just be like, "Just, um, just fuck, mm-hmm. force field, yep, fucking force field." Oh, wonderful! With a twelve arcana check, I would say that you can definitely tell that there's some kind of magical ward on this thing. Uh, mm. That that this crystal has some kind of protection that is not the same as the other crystal. All right, which one of you can join you stupid thing? She, like, turns around, sort of like caveman Spongebob posing. Like, <laughs> she is not happy. Well, I can knock them all out and find out. All right. Yeah, no, I guess that's my turn. Because <laughs> that was both things. Next. And I'm not moving away right. from the crystal. So she's just like, mm. You know. Angry. All right. Uh, orc. Orc dead eye shot. Because I don't want to impose, uh, impose a disadvantage. Okay, so this will be dead a normal eye shot. shot then. Yep. As a result. All right. All right. Oh, man. <sighs> Ooh, oh, nice. And I, get, Gable. and I get it back. <laughs> Rolling high today. I, I like to try. All right. Oh, nice. Plus yeah, nine. she is pretty low now. You can see that she's on her last leg. You can see dings in her armor. You fire another shot. It kind of punctures through a weak portion. She is struggling. And I, as uh, as that one's done, Kuro goes in for another bork. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see the bork. 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 Come on. Bork. No! Oh, no! He's too, he's too hurt. He's still such a good boy. He's just... Uh, <laughs> it, yeah. it's, that's it. It's, it's just another... Yep. Just a... 
And that is a nat one. Let me see. Oh, baby. How bad is a thing that happens to him? Oh no, not not that bad. Nothing severe happens to Kuro. Just struggling, yeah. doing his best. <laughs> Poor boy. He he poops out a nut. <laughs> like a little <laughs> like one of those little bolt nuts as it just comes out. It falls through one of the holes in the grate and boom into the magma. <laughs> oh, Luna, your turn. Uh, how bad does this one look? Does it look uh, like they still have a lot of fight in them? Are they desperate looking? Or uh, they they look like just a few more good hits could take them down. Just a handful. Just a couple of good hits could probably knock them off. Does the it look like they're still like they're? A crossbow is still up, still trying to fight despite oh, having yeah, been yeah, like yeah. stopped from. Now, if you okay, want to, cool. if you want a deeper analysis of how they're looking, I want to try this. If you would like to spend a bonus action doing a medicine check, to sure. kind of check his well-being. Yeah, I'm not great at those, but hell yeah, I'll test your thing. Yeah, Kurt. up to you. Sure. sure, why not? I'm still gonna smack it. So, ooh, 19. Ooh, 19. You hell yeah. You can tell that two good strikes from you could probably take him down, like from you specifically. Uh, then uh, I, I want to look down at him and just kind of tilt my head. Do you really want me to do this? Mm-hmm. And I'm giving him a chance to lower his weapon. Okay. Hmm. Give me an intimidation. Okay, strength intimidation. This has not gone well for me. Anytime I've... Re- oh my god! See? See how he does That's it. something. 18, please. He just... Nope, he holds, he continues to hold his crossbow <laughs> for this hell of a paycheck. Oh, you bet. <sighs> you really need to get a better boss. Um, Was that my action to make that uh, check? I'm good. Uh, I'm going to be generous because you were testing, because you were willing to test out my new thing with the medicine check. Uh, You can attack, I'll say. You, you can attack. I'm gonna okay. I'm, I'm gonna try and be more strict on those because I'm I feel like I'm giving out these like actions during turns too much. So I'll say this is the last one, and any future things like this will require actions. Okay, That's valid. That's on That's me. Though. Absolutely valid. That's valid. It's okay. Okay. okay well, uh, we accept this. We accept this. We're rolling. Yeah, she just kind of all right. And then bap. And then bap. Oh uh, no, 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 not no, no, enough. He's, he is able to block both. With his just like block and dodge, dodge and weave, moving out of the yeah, way. He really wants that paycheck. It's a shame you actually would be really useful in the trade if you just work for better people. Question. Wow, scathing. Answer. Luna hasn't moved. Um, oh, so shit. That cause Do you gay? want to move, Luna? You know what? I'm going to accept the consequences of my Let's see yeah, what let's happens. See what happens. <laughs> okay, so because you stood on the same spot that you did on this uh, grate above fire. Uh, without you die. Moving, <laughs> you take of six fire, fire damage. As okay. the heat, the heat beneath your boots becomes very uncomfortable, and you can feel it on on your feet. I'd recommend moving next time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks. Just Joe, let me do so much already. I, I need to yeah. take I the appreci- consequences. I appreciate that you taking valid. that. Uh, Nathaniel, <laughs> now it's your turn. You can see that these two are ganging up on Enoch. Well, that's not right. That's just mean. Uh, I'm gonna mind sliver this one again because he's the one that just fire blasted me. Uh huh. I'm still yeah. trying to hold on to the concentration for this guy over here, Mr. Shootsman McGee. Oh, wait. Uh, hold on. Oh, what? we forgot about What's him. Up? Because. What's you, up? So you have concentrate. You have to concentrate on him, yeah? Correct. So that means you lose concentration on the goblin, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Correct. Okay. I'm just. On, I'm just on making Mr. A Man note. over here. I'm just making yeah. a mental note. All right. Yep. If I hear a sudden boom, that's okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, there's an explosion. That's, 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 that's why. That, Gains B, you smart, smart dog. That's, you. that's why I put the mines there. Yeah, if I hear like, a sudden boom, that's fine. The only people no, there that I'm I want. Of something else. The only people there who who would die are people that I want to be dead. So we're fine. <laughs> okay. What do you? Okay. So mine uh, sliver. Okay. Yeah, mine sliver. I'm this orc man. Unfortunately. She's not a man, she's a woman. But on this orc woman. <laughs> yeah, woman. <laughs> Fuck. Is, all right, yes, your mind sliver is enough and knocks her. Are you uh lethal? I assume non-lethal. Always non-lethal. Always non-lethal. Yep, she is knocked on her ass as she falls and you hear her loud just metal boom as her m- metallic armor falls to the ground. I'm putting an right. X but she is not dead. I'm going to put like she's a little sleep marker. Yep. Yeah. All right. Good luck. And I'm going to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. You know what? I'm curious. I'm curious about how that 
on how that's going on. I'm gonna walk here so that I can see down in that direction, just out of curiosity. You can see that uh, Magnus and the goblin are talking. You can't hear what they're talking about, but they are talking. Oh no. As expected. Mm. No, this is good. All right, that's my turn. Next to the protector's I turn. I like it. Now I'm gonna do the Everything's human going exactly as planned. The human is still Shoot, <laughs> looking around. Oh, <laughs> and he fires at this mine. Ah! Yes! Yeah, baby! And oh he fires God. at it. And please, please blow up, blow up, and take the tiefling out. Do my job gone. for me. Come on. Yep. The tiefling is just like uh, Tescar. Come on, why don't you? And he sees the bolt almost like in slow motion hit the mine. It explodes and it covers the tiefling in black soot. And he is nearly out. This Yay! thing explodes. Plot, plot twist, it was a booby mine. It doesn't actually do anything. <laughs> That'd be funny. That'd be it sad. Just, it just sticks out a flag that says bang. <laughs> and this covers you in dye. This one is going to just take another simple swing at you, Enoch, with her sword. Good luck. Okay. Oh, and she does get through your armor. Oh, boy. She takes a swipe, and that is eight slashing damage on you, friendo. She's a oh. tough one. Have you remembered? Very tough baby. Going Have you remembered my temp HP? Did you remember uh, my temp no. HP? Oh no, that temp HP went gone as soon as the. the flame okay, that's happened. fine. Yeah, that's fine. The... Just wanted to make sure. Yeah. And this You're one. All fine. This one, seeing as moving around and going away is not uh, working, he is simply going to move around here, and he's going to take a dagger and st trying to stab at Renee instead. Well, uh, I believe he I, activates. I, 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 that, that activates. Oh, that activates Sentinel, Sentinel as well. Yeah, oh, activates shit. Anyway. Everything <laughs> activates Sentinel. <laughs> Everything, Everything activates Sentinel. Yeah. Anyway. I, okay, I, my, I have so much shit that is specifically tailored Yay. for focus on me and no one else. So All right, yes, show I'm me the attack. The Fight bat. me. <laughs> Fucking yep. go. Oh my god. Oh, oh no. No. So I am going to get stabbed. Yep. Well, you were going to get stabbed regardless. I don't think it stops the yeah. attack. Cool. Yeah, stab me. Unfortunately, uh, well, I'm not close technic to do what I technically, wanted. if he started here, he would have activated as soon as he moved here, I believe. Oh, really? Uh, as soon as no, never mind, never mind. Never yeah, mind. no, I was okay. going to say. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, as long as he no, stays within five yeah, feet of Luna. Stay, he needs uh, to stay within yeah. my range of aggro. So, you know, unless Understood. he provokes yeah, yeah, yeah. an attack of opportunity from me. Yep, so, you got it. This is just me being able to take an attack well, of up. I guess it doesn't matter anyway. Luna does it. <laughs> he pulls okay, his dagger on you, Renee. He takes a stab, yep. and you take four piercing damage. That's okay. Oof. Next, okay, Renee, I'm turn. still okay. I'm doing all right. Um. Ah. Uh, ooh. Ah. Uh, okay. <laughs> um. Well, that was rude. Um. I'm gonna try and see if I can do what I did in the other room and you know I'm just gonna like turn around towards him and it's kind of be like all right are you going to tell me how the fuck to get these crystal or are you going to keep on being a bitch until she beats you unconscious he... okay <laughs> if you would like, like she's unfazed she's just irritated <laughs> like <laughs> if you would like you can give me your choice between persuasion and intimidation for that Cool. Um, I'll do persuasion. Like, she's not trying to like be mean. She's just like, listen here, you little shit. Oh, okay. You can see that the <laughs> tiefling is panting and frustrated, but also just like you can see that he's frustrated at you, but also frustrated as he say, says this answer. He's panting. I, I don't know how to work these crystals. Castilia didn't tell us anything about it. Just to turn them off, or. Well, do you know how to turn it off? No, that's what we've been trying. Every time we get close, just blast us back. So you're purposely trying to turn it off. Thank but you for you, the information. With you out of the way, we'll have all the time in the world. So ah. die already! Don't fuck with the crystal! <laughs> and she just gives him a middle finger of like, I am not phased by you at all. Um, just because I can, I was going to save my, my bardic stuff. I, will that be a bonus action of, of talking, I guess? Um, I would say to roll a skill check, I'll say, I don't know. You I don't know, listen, man. I don't know how the rules are. Bonus action. I'll I'll say say bonus bo action. Yeah, bonus action, sure. Okay. Yeah. Skill checks, I'll say bonus. I appreciate you. Yeah. I appreciate you. Uh, is this tiefling wearing armor? 
unfortunately <laughs> not metal armor. Damn it. It's so okay, this, this team uh, going down. This half elf is. Uh, is that within my range of my... It, it is! Uh, she's just like, oh, really? You want to fuck with me right now? Watch this! And she just got seat metal. All right, on on the half-elf, who on is the wearing half-elf. chain mail. Uh, yep. Roll me the damage. Oh, four damage. Four, okay, you can see damage. that it heats, and she... Ha, 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 yeah, yeah, you see that <laughs> shit? You really want to play with me right now? As, as I look at it, it's just like, oh, you got the fucked end of a stick, didn't you? <laughs> She's just like, ugh. Are you going to move it all, Renee? No, I don't care. I'm sticking okay. around the crystal. Enoch, your turn. All right. Well, <laughs> here goes another dead eye shot. Okay. Uh, because I don't want to impose disadvantage. Ooh, just enough. Yeah! Just Woo! enough. Woo! It, ever so rarely do, will it happen. And that's gonna be Ooh. 12 piercing. Oh, nice. I forgot that the gun can cause like really bad damage. Yep. Yeah. Damn. And, uh, and while I'm at it, since uh, since this person's already having a bad day, I'm gonna just see if I can make it worse. Okuro, bark. Bork. <laughs> yeah. Bark. That is a strong bark. bark. He did a bork. Bark. 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 Whoa. Oh. Max, yeah. good bork. Bork. Max a good bork. damage bork. She's struggling. You can see that her armor is just a flame, and she is struggling to hold her sword. Oh, you thought you hurt me? No, we hurt you. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Luna, your turn. Oh god! All right, I'm real pissed at this tiefling, especially because he just stabbed my friend. Um, I would like to impose a, a wisdom check on myself to resist killing this person because I am trying to be non-lethal, but he did just stab Renee. You can go and ahead tell and do her that. to die. You so. can play your character however you want. So I'm gonna make this decision. Okay. Oh, you're, he's dead. Yeah. No. Um. He's dead, man. Yeah. No. Uh. Two. Oh. Ooh. Oh my oh. God. Ooh. Uh, you do. Do I still have a? Do I still have my bonus action? You do. I'd like to bring Echo Dead out and I'll use my last Unleash Incarnation. Okay, yep, you may. Okay. Yeah, I'll I'll drag him on in a minute. Let's just roll this. Please. Yes. Hey. Uh. Yes. Uh, Any specific way that does kill him, any specific way you try (gasps) to kill him. Uh, I honestly, (laughs) this is kind of gruesome and I'll describe it as PG as possible. Luna just goes up and just drives her sword through uh, the back, this guy's back, and I guess Shadow, it's, it's Shadow Dad's blade, I guess. Um, I remember uh, like, season two of Game of Thrones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when those, w- w- when the Lannister soldiers killed the the Night's Watch guy. Yeah. 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 I just, I just yeah. walk up behind him, grab his shoulder, and just right through the back. <laughs> oh. Yeah. He is. I was nasty. trying to do this. Without having to kill anyone, yep. I guess he is you're worth it. Though. Dead, dead. Ooh. He doesn't even get a final word. Ooh. And with that, this half elf is gonna spend her reaction, dropping her weapon and putting her hands up. She's surrendered. <laughs> uh, fun question. Uh, mm-hmm. What the fuck is this guy doing? <laughs> He's still aiming around, panicking around. <laughs> uh, <laughs> if you, would, I would make an argument. Luna just stabbed somebody. <laughs> No, well, he is he's still. Well, it's not their turn yet. Anyone. It's not their turn yet. Well, he's so he's yeah. Thinking. Also, he is still charmed by Nathaniel. Oh yeah, that's right. It's at random. Okay, got gotcha. you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hold on. I, I should have put like a little marker on it. Like, I forgot okay. that he had like video game confusion status. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's confused. Oh, he may hurt himself in his yeah, confusion. Read it, reading the <laughs> spell. The yeah, re- reading the spell. He doesn't get to make another save until he takes damage. <laughs> He's just <laughs> constantly doing this until somebody hits him. This poor bastard. This poor bastard. That's Nathaniel. Uh, I am unabated by this poor bastard, so I am going to uh, take a nice skip over this hot grate. And the problems that are happening in there, I am incredibly confident that my team has got them handled. So Where I'm going to. Just, three, four, five, six. We have most of. What's in there handled? How's everyone out here? Oh, I'm fine. Magnus speaks up, just making idle conversation, but it doesn't seem that our little goblin friend here is much of a topic grabber. Oh, and what has he been saying so far? 
<laughs> Simply telling tree folk about how useless all this mechanic are. Old designs, run down parts. Useless. If. If like were to, to be built inst- today, the great Ketrig would have many notes to take. I would like to roll insight. Okay, you may. Because I expect everything they tell me to be a lie. Uh, Ketrig seems genuine, but you can tell from the look of Magnus uh, how he says it. He says every single word eyeing you unblinking. Mm hmm. Oh, well, luckily for him, I'm also staring at him and not <laughs> eyeing Ketrig at all. You can see his interest is not in Ketrig, of course, very clearly. Like, you don't need mm-hmm. an insight to tell you that. But, uh, he, okay. he's, he seems like, you know, yeah, you can tell. I, I'd say what you can glean from this insight role, you can glean out of character. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Uh, I, in that case, have nothing to do as, like, an action, so I can move, we can move on from there. It's just me and Magnus, both talking about how great things are going <laughs> and staring at each other unblinkingly. <laughs> oh, God. And after combat, I do. there is something that he is going to talk to you about, but I think it takes a little bit yep. too long totally. to do skip my, on a turn. Skip my turn as many that times that as necessary. I'm just in this room. You don't, I have wanna, nothing you don't to want do. to dismiss this guy at all? Dis- why would I do that? <laughs> That's First of all, I don't know exactly purpose. what the situation is in there, so I don't yeah, know if I need so to dismiss him. Second of all, is fair. Uh, he will stop his nonsense as soon as he is hit. So uh, yeah, all it's... someone needs to do is smack him. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not I'll worried. Worry. I'll go yeah. over there and smack him. Even smack though I haven't explained it to the party, I imagine a crazy crossbow-wielding maniac yeah. will incur some wrath <laughs> eventually. Once some friends, then I'll probably start being like, yeah. hey, buddy, calm the fuck down. Whack. Yep. With that said, I end my turn. Okay, next to the protector's turn, this guy is going to panic and shoot a random shot. Shit, I should roll on my dice thing. <laughs> <laughs> I heard the dice roll. He's going to shoot a random shot. <laughs> I keep... I, I meant to roll on my in my dice tray, and... Uh, <laughs> it was better. He shoots at Echo Dad, of all things, and... Phew, and does not hit. He, he fires at Echo Dad, and he's still panicking. <laughs> And this, okay. <laughs> this one is already given up. She's, you know, got her hands up. And she okay. simply says to you, Enoch, she just has her hands up. Her sword is on the floor. I know what I'm beating. Could you please subdue him? All right. <laughs> I'm just going to... I am 5, 10, 15, 20, 20. That was the diagonal. I'm going to punch him. <laughs> The protector's just like, I'll kill you! I'll kill all of you! <laughs> he's, like, he's like, oh my god! Oh my god! And it's just like, shut up! <laughs> okay. Um, that's gonna need an attack roll. Yep, um, that'll be my unarmed strike, because I'm not trying to, like... Okay. Obvious. And the thing is, it doesn't do any damage when I actually hit, so... Okay, yes, 15 is enough, and it takes your strength mod, which is plus two. Which is... Yeah, I have zero. <laughs> Wait, that's, if your mod is plus two, then it will my, automatically My mod is not plus two. It's a hit DC of plus oh. two. My actual oh. damage is zero. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> that wait. doesn't, it does nothing. It doesn't work. It's not, it doesn't, wait, it doesn't, doesn't count. work? No, oh he, has to take damage. he has to take Actually, damage. Uh, yeah, he has to take damage. Zero is not anything. It is I absence didn't know of. That. I didn't know that. That's on me. How dare you? Well, to be I'm fair, sorry. you don't know how the spell works, but yeah. <laughs> You just give him That's a fair. little slap. I'm just like, <laughs> and he, sir, he but, but, sir, he freaks the fuck out. <laughs> all right, all right, hold on, just, just fucking. Anything else um, you want to do with your bonus action? He's holding his crossbow, right? Yeah, he's he's pointing it all over the place. Cool. Um, it's got metal in the arrow, so just another heat metal, I guess. Okay, is that a bonus action? Uh, no, it's an action. Fuck. Okay, you know what? This is the time where I have to use my bonus action of the um. No, oh, that, that, only, that doesn't do anything of actual damage. That just does a saving throw. It's ah! okay. Enoch's turn. It's right after you. You're going to be fine. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's just probably sitting there going, fuck. Enoch, can you shoot them? <laughs> I'm so yeah, sorry for causing this big issue. Ping. <laughs> yeah, she's just like, hey, I, I can't fucking, you know, just, apparently I don't, I can't punch. I've, just, okay. I've learned this now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that's what happens when you don't have a metal hand. And hey. I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> use. All right, go with the gavel. Unfortunately, mm. unfortunately, not enough. 
Oh no! Shoot can him again. I make, can Shoot I again. make that a? Can I make that dead eye real quick? I would say <laughs> it should have been called before I say whether it yeah. is. Kuro, Kuro, Kuro can I, attack him. Kuro, fuck. Objection! Yuck! Uh, Joe. Joe. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> as soon as we saw the number, you announced whether or not it hit before he true. could get I a chance. I didn't give you a chance. All right, sure, sure, sure. Oh, so yes, dead eye. Yeah, go ahead and dead eye. Oh, I, I was a little fast on that. Yeah, You're very that hits. forgiving. Okay, yeah. dead eye. Dead You're eye. Very forgiving. I'll try. I'll try to <laughs> give you a chance nope. to talk in the future. No oh, problem. Yes. I'll g- listen. All right. Yeah. You're good. That hits. Show me the damage. Oh my oh! goodness! <laughs> oh my god! Jesus Christ! <laughs> I mean, killing him will stop the that spell. At one point, yeah. at any point in time, as soon as I roll a one, this thing stops working. <laughs> oh! Don't say that. You're gonna well, manifest it. Don't speak it into yeah. the universe. That's don't how you So now he needs to make a save. Yeah, he makes it. Uh, oh, thank God! He's out. <gasps> He's out. You hit him. He whoo, 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 and he can see that. You know, two of comp- one of his companions is down, one of them is dead, one has surrendered, seeing as he's surrounded by the three of you, and that the mines have not been doing her- their job, he's going to use his reaction to drop his weapon and surrender as well. Yeah. Uh, Kuro is just kind of standing in his direction, just like growling, like as a robot growl would be, to kind of say, hey, don't do anything. Because he will bork. <laughs> and that oh, will be the end of combat. Well done. Oh. oh my god, fuck me, all right. No, okay. while, while this is going on, before I go back to you guys, we're going to go to Nathaniel. Yep, yep. yep. Who, okay. Magnus just takes a few steps up to you uh, with his book in hand while he's continuing to take in the area. And he looks at you, Nathaniel, and uh, he sp- uh, sp- speaks to you. Tell me, witch taker. I assume that your business, whatever it is that you're doing to all these different investigations, it is a long-term goal, yes? What do you hope to achieve with your business? I'm interested. Why, what does any police officer want to achieve? The betterment of society. Hmm. I see. And you feel as though that you are on that path? Why, I only live to serve the city of Belkinus. I see. And perhaps we are aligned in the same goals. Is that so? Very. Perhaps you might explain what you are actually doing here. I doubt that you're here because Enoch is such a good conversationalist. No, you have been here for me. Why is that? Because I know who you are, Nathaniel Gainsby. And I know who is close to you, and he squints his eyes. So I would say, if you wish to keep them safe, you best keep up the act. There is no act. But I would think it would be unwise to threaten an officer of the law, or insinuate that they are colluding with some nefarious purpose. He simply says nothing and just sits back and continues to write notes in his book. Tell me, what is it that you're writing? Evaluations. And who are you planning to give them to? That is none of your concern. Perhaps your concern should be checking on your allies. It's getting a a bit oddly quiet in there. That means they've won. What happens when it gets oddly quiet in here? With your passive perception, you can see that he is, he's struggling to, he is, he is the one putting up an act. He's trying to act tough. He's a little, he's a little on his toes right now. Perhaps we've started on, off on the wrong foot. I'm an investigator, you see. I originally in, assumed that you were merely a friend of Enoch's. Acquaintances. As I keep being corrected, it seems instead that there is an investigation to be had here. I'm very glad that you've decided to remain with us. 
Now. He's, he raises his eyebrows at that thought. He is trying to keep a poker face as best he can. You have shaken him. Now, let's go back and see how the rest of our party is doing. That would be a good idea. Lead the way, witch taker. With pleasure. Okay. Uh, and just yeah. one last thing, just mm-hmm. to twist the knife a little bit more. As we are uh, entering this room and we pass by these, uh, these tied up people with mines around them and <laughs> fire all around, uh, I will say to him, without looking, I'll say, oh, don't mind them. The conclusion of a different investigation. (laughs) (laughs) Very nice. Okay, yeah, so back in the room. Christ almighty. Oh, it's fucking hell. I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah, sorry, you go. I know, I was going to say, Renee's just probably standing there just like, okay, do any of the fuck of you, like, do any of you fucking know what you're supposed to be doing with this crystal? Because one of you said not to take it out. Those two were trying to figure out what the fuck they were doing with crystals. I'd like to know what you're doing. And it would be uh, very um, positive of you to start ducking unless you want hell to go fucking ape shit on you guys again. Or, you know, you've, just, you've already seen so much shit already. Uh, How'd you this say Probably that? for like extra sticking. measure, I probably kept the burning on her. Oh. Just to put extra. Yeah, because I haven't dropped it yet. Oh, shit. <laughs> so I'm yeah. letting her kind of simmer for a bit. <laughs> you can I see that. quickly, she, she will put an end to you. Violently and cruelly on fire. It's, she, I'm she's watching sitting, it happen now. She's sitting there very uncomfortable. You know, if you kill me, my information dies with me. I'm not going to kill you. Let me roll that 2d8 real fast, though. <laughs> 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 ah, see, that's what I'm about. And I think it, I, I had like a plus like. It knocks her out unconscious. Pluses, plus three. Ah, <laughs> see, she's unconscious. I drop it. See, I'm I believe in your to tongue kill it said him. murder. <laughs> <laughs> she just turns to the human, <laughs> like seeing that that person's knocked out. She goes, you see, I'm not going to kill you. I'm just going to knock you unconscious unless you tell me what the fuck is going on. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I, listen, C- 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 Castilia said mm-hmm. that she needed this crystals, the, these crystals, right? They, they, there were some mm-hmm. twins in the other room, and mm-hmm. they were supposed to put the Warford soul. She said it was supposed to be here, but it's gone. And we've been looking all everywhere for it. Oh, so sad. Now, and so we've been trying like- to find another way to deactivate these crystals, but this one has a damn rune on it. Ah, that is quite unfortunate. Why are you trying to deactivate the crystals? I don't know. She kept it pretty tight-lipped. That's all she said. We we listen to Castilia. We don't want to make her mad. Ah, hmm. okay. I think we've just been played. I think we may have just been played, yeah. Mm. Unless you figured well, it out before we actually did anything. Uh, step over the body. All right, <laughs> um... So who wants who wants some painkillers? Uh, in the moment, can we knock him out first? I'm very irritated right now. Oh, yeah, I would sure, love I... to if he would not mind. <laughs> Just beat him to a pulp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, I take the uh, the back end of the gavel and I try and clock him over the head with it. <laughs> yep, easily. Pff, he is knocked out cold, and uh, there is one last <gasps> chest here as well. Anyone who would like to uh, Yay! Fuck. <laughs> you Money. Know me. Money! <laughs> you know me! Yeah, uh, um... The angels are the angels. Like, gonna put a hand to you. And it's like, no, I think I'm better at opening chests than you. <laughs> I'm and, sorry? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, that actually gets a I really mean, good rise out of her night. She's just... <laughs> I, I mean, like I understand. <laughs> I understand <laughs> when something takes skill and understanding but the simple, Enoch, simple mechanical motion of elbow <laughs> hand Enoch, open. take the end she's making fun of you take I the end <laughs> Luna is like she, she's she's very she looks playful just for the record she looks I, like she's just taking the piss she's <laughs> grinning she's like just kind of laughing at herself right, do you want to open the chest then yeah that I want to kick this chest open All right, please. you kick it open and inside you find a couple of jewels worth, and it, like, they're jewels, but like, functionally, I'd say you could just easily sell them uh, to a shop. So I'm just going to say that you get Wait, 20, jewels? Gold, 20 gold pieces, unless, you know, there are 20 gold pieces worth of jewels in there. Like, 
simple oh. like <laughs> they're tiny jewels. They're not yeah, what yeah, you're yeah. looking for. Yeah. No, not big jewels. You're not going to find a diamond in there. They're like mm-hmm. little things that you would make into like a like a small earring or something. Oh, okay. Pretty. Uh, uh, so 20 any... gold pieces worth of those. Mm-hmm. And another pair of those same boots that you saw in the other room. Mommy. And one very fancy looking gem inside. It looks to be like a, a an emerald kind of polished and uh, uh, cut to look akin to an eyeball. <gasps> it's the eye of Vecna. Oh God! Oh Wait, God! What? I shouldn't be touching this. Um, I have a question about the smaller gems. Uh huh. Were they just like clear gems? Or are they colored? Yeah, they're various different types of colors: reds and blues and greens and stuff. Very small. Oh, like you can hold them all in your hand. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I, I just I want to do this for a flavor thing later that I will text you about. I want to take two of the green ones and slip them into my pocket. <laughs> Ooh. I would say that would take uh, probably, yeah, they're two gold pieces, essentially. I hope you guys don't mind. That'll just be part of my cut when we when we divide it all up. Um, I just like to make sure that I have two little green stones. The rest will will divvy out at the end. Um, the, yeah, the, seeing as it didn't big, blow up. That big emerald has caught my eye. If, if you look like you're actively interested in it, she'll just kind of head it over like, oh, I have no use for this. And I hold it. <gasps> Kuro upgrades. <laughs> and I put it into the put it into the bag. All right. Awesome. Now you have several you have so many unidentified items. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, we have a, we I'm just have like a, the pack we, we mule can, to the party. Well, we can we can identify them all after we're done with the dungeon. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And yeah, so what do you so all that's left are the various mines and the crystal and the kind of broken down war forge. Now, normally I would took a, take a break here. However, we are uh, half an hour away from eight o'clock and Davy, I think you said you had something at eight, like eight sharp. Uh, I mean, it is not a definitive like thing, but it is like, if we can end it around normal time, then I would be happy. Okay, well then we're not okay. gonna take our break. We're just gonna do the final thing you guys wanted to do in this room. And then hey. we can call the session. The banana okay. fact of the day is that bananas are good for you. Okay, hey. we're done. <laughs> nice. Hey, high in potassium. All right, so it turns out they're trying to get in the room with the first field, and I don't know if I want to be doing their work for them, because I have no idea what the fuck is in there. Warforge are in there, I'm pretty sure. That's what they're after. And probably the ones that haven't been le- left to, to grade to time. I believe that there's a good e- and simple way of knowing things right now. Oh, there you are. How was your little trip? Oh, it was very good. Apparently the goblin in the other room, well, he's fine now. The mines should be keeping him safe. I... Joe... Mm -hmm. uh, Oh, uh... Oh, you go, you go. Um, Nathaniel, I just had a thought (laughs) that maybe we should have tried. Hmm. I... I can put my... My, my, my manifestation, I can, I can put it anywhere 15 feet... If, within 15 feet of me, as long as I can see the space. If I can see through the force field, I could just check what's in that room. <laughs> I don't believe that would work. It wouldn't be so simple as that. I imagine magic couldn't pass through. I didn't try myself, but it stands to reason. Magnus speaks up. Yes, I studied the thing, and all of my magic seemed to fail against it as well. Ah, oh, so just anti-magic. Even better. Ah. But for now, we, it may behoove us to bring all of the other people inside of this small room where we can easily keep track of them and interrogate them all at once. All right. Uh, we're going to have one less to interrogate from this room. Thank you for that, by the and way. Why is honestly. that? Uh, uh, because one of them stabbed me and then Luna just fucking just shink, just does the gesture of like sword stabby like, ah, uh, like... I, I, in, I would have kept it. I would have kept it as not, non-lethal, but I was more concerned for Renee's safety. So, in regards to that crystal, um, and knowing my somewhat abilities, both mechanical and magical, I wave to Echo Dad, and then I am just going to stare at this thing to try oh, and Echo understand Dad's what gone. it is. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, at the, at the space. You, what is your nat? What is your Arcana stat? My arcana is a plus five. Plus five. You know that this thing is a strong ward, and it is not coming off uh, without some kind of magic. With the crystal that you saw on the other thing, um, 
Uh, that thing was a strong magical ward, which was why Renee was able to push it over so easily physically. Whereas this magical ward is to stop physical things mm. in mm. some way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see, I see, I see, I see. Uh huh, okay. So. Just deducing, I, I deducing the like the process of elimination of like what happened with that yeah. crystal versus what happened with this one. Okay, I look back at the party. All right, so do we actually need to get rid of this crystal or should it stay? When, because we're not getting past that door without this thing no, off. We don't know if we want to get past the door. Yeah, Enoch, um, if, if you, uh, I, I mentioned that literally every, at least the dead man over there, uh, the dead dealing over there, said that they were trying to get into the room. They were trying to get rid of the crystals. So mm -hmm. I don't know specifically for what reason. Apparently, Castilla has not told anyone of these other ones anything, at least as far as mid-combat conversation goes. Um, but the question I think is, we might be able to get is... a little bit more. Yeah, would you guys where like to in, uh, interrogate these two and like bring them yeah. into that room? Uh I would like mm -hmm. to bring them yeah. and the big gobble boy the into gobble. the room all at once, all so we just have together. them all clumped together. Okay. Uh, Conversation time! Spe specifically, I'd like to keep them... Actually, no, that room works. This room works. Well, I I'd like it to be inside of this smaller room, so okay, that it's yeah, that easier for us to keep track of them. I'll have the spider mines, uh, like, stand here same, and we here. Don't put them in the, in the room where there's a dead body. <laughs> <laughs> you to not do that. What? No, that's fine. I mean, listen, intimidation, baby. Yeah, psychological torture is still a form of torture. It doesn't have yeah. to be physical. Yeah. <laughs> Let I us care. have our fun, Luna. Yeah, Luna. <laughs> oh. Okay, fine. Jeez. Anyway. Uh, for, the, for the sake of the argument, I am going to go ahead and use mending on Koro to kind of put him back together. Aw. That's okay. Just Aww. in case. Just that in case. Makes sense. I don't want him. Uh, I, I, don't want him I don't want him hurting. Uh, uh, okay. Luna, I appreciate you uh, helping me and making sure that. Uh, at least you tried to make sure I did not get stabbed. And I'm going to cast Healing Word on Luna! First Aww. of all. A. Nice. You a. get eight points back. There you go. B pap, pap, pap. Yeah. Or no, uh, seven points back. B -b -b -b. Yeah, that, that was for Kuro. Yep, sorry. Yeah, he's fine. All right. She, she just kind of gives means. you a nod, so thank you. Sorry. No, no, you're good. You're good. I'm not going to go away. <laughs> Do your thing, guys. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, <laughs> in fact, uh, to kind of uh, continue the healing cycle, uh, Kuro comes up to you, and he is going to give you uh, cure wounds because you are below halfway. Oh, I'm actually just halfway, but I appreciate it regardless. Whoa, oh my that's God. a good one! Yay! Yay. Yay. Uh, so you see him open his mouth, and you see the two little pills come out that you could take for cure wounds. Um, she is going to just kind of look at them and then pop them in the mouth, and then as soon as she starts feeling the, feeling the heels, she just rubs his face like, "Oh, is that is a good way." Just I cannot rub, 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 rub. deactivate without knowing if you are satisfied with your yeah. care. Ah, <laughs> why is he talking? I do not like talking dog. Didn't like uh, it in Underdog. Talks. Don't like it now. Uh, Scooby Doo talks, okay. is the closest uh, thing, and I'm, that's all. I'm, that's because he only says Scooby Doo. I am satisfied with my service. Uh, go back to your master. I was uh, about to say, if you were about to disrespect <laughs> Scooby-Doo in this house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, uh, just, just go back to your master. Oh, yeah. oh my God. I didn't know I was going to talk. Okay. <laughs> he says Scooby-Doo, and the only other thing he says is Doobie. Doobie. <laughs> Doobie. No, it's so, back, so back to the game. Hey, you're right, right. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. You wanted to right. interrogate so, these guys. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, just to let you... Okay, so... Yes, uh, I'm we'll, going to... We'll go bullet oh, points of what you guys want to ask them. Well, so this is where we continue Nathaniel's game of thinking a couple steps ahead. I'm going to raise yeah. my hand, and as I wave it, uh, like a clump of pink sparks will shoot out from it and poof, scatter all throughout this room. And I'm going to say, <laughs> if everyone could please, don't resist this. And as they fall, and I say that, I'm going to look specifically at Magnus as I cast Zone of Truth. <laughs> you can see he's trying to, like, make himself close to the wall, but he is within, so, 15 square feet. Oh, yeah, he's he's in it. Yeah. It's, it's every, it's the room. It's everywhere. Yeah. Okay. And you know who makes or fails, right? Correct. If you this do not succeed, I will know. I'm going to try and make it. 
Uh, I, I have to roll him. myself, actually. Yeah, I don't trust this guy. Uh, however, uh, I make my... What is it? Charisma, charisma save? save? Yep. I make mine at advantage. I Yay. succeed. Charisma, charisma save? Oh, save. no. Boop. So I'm okay. Good job. Yes, baby. Listen, I'm here for you. <laughs> Magnus fails. Good. Yes! That's good for him. That'll yeah. keep him safe. Yeah. <laughs> uh... The dragonborn fails, the tiefling succeeds. Okay. okay. And the goblin fails. So everyone Good. except for the tiefling fails. Fantastic. Well, okay. I, I succeeded. No. Right. <laughs> of the people we are trying to uh, interrogate. Uh, just uh, a friendly reminder for the DM. Uh, they are not willed to answer. Right, so right, they right. are allowed to just not say anything. They simply can't lie. Mm -hmm. All right. Fantastic. All right. Well, that's good. Um... Of the three of you, who would you say is the one that would have the most information for me? Uh, both of these two, just kind of the, the two fire-resistant crew, look at each other, and you can see that they're not willing to say anything, but Ketrig uh, just spe speaks up. The great Ketrig has good tea to spill. Oh, oh. spill your tea, sis. <laughs> Let's go. And yes. the other two just eyeball him. What? The great Ketrig was promised riches and good inventions, not crap and scrap. The great, Ketrig, the great Ketrig was snooping around and heard discussions with Castilia and Strange Human. Oh. Strange Human was able to bring the great Ketrig and other protectors inside, but only have single strong enough spell to put Castilia inside herself. She not tell other protectors, but Ketrig is smart. Oh. I appreciate that Ketrig believes that he is smart. <laughs> so what you're saying is Castelia is in there now? Hmm. Perhaps to wait f to prepare Warforge for when protectors arrive. Clean up area so she don't have to. Ah. <laughs> I was thinking that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Funny oh. joke. <laughs> but the and great uh, Ketrig know that smarmy Genasi make us do chore so the great Ketrig take these invention for himself. Just in case. Tell me, were you teleported here before or after Castilia was made aware of our presence in the city? Mm. After. Mm. Right, so she left you out here specifically so that you would get routed by us. Yes. That doesn't seem like a very good thing for a boss to do. Perhaps uh. underestimate you all. Ah, that is very true. As for the two of you, and I glance down at the fire twins... <laughs> They are tight-lipped and staring daggers at Ketrig, who seems very satisfied with himself. You both seem good like on very, Ketrig. You both seem very tied down to Castilia. I can respect that. It's good to, what's the term? Go down with the ship. Mm. Of course, Castilia will be killed. There's no doubt about that. But I appreciate that you have such loyalty that you'll follow her. Even if it means to the grave. Especially to the grave. Mm. Shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> give me an intimidation with advantage. Yes! <laughs> yes, bitch. Uh, hey, Renee, how's your intimidation? Hey, Do you want to roll this one? My intimidation's actually pretty mean. I have a pretty I, you, mean intimidation. You know what? I'll let you roll this one. We'll I take have it with a plus advantage. Five. Yes. Hell yeah. Let's see it. Ooh. Let's see if you crit. <laughs> Let's see if you crit. Let them 17. spill That's their entire beans. Bad. I mean, that's I 17, 17, though. That's pretty dirty. 17, Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Okay. Yeah, with a 17, they both look at each other. We didn't hear any of that, but Castilia was pretty secretive a lot about a lot of stuff. She hung out with that human a lot. Mm. Mm. Right, I assume so. Now, you didn't hear a lot. Is that true? No, she deliberately kept us in the dark for a lot of this stuff. She mostly just oh. said... Uh, protect this place that you guys would be coming and take you down when we find you. <laughs> oh, oh, how did that work out? <laughs> Truly a damn shame. So, she kept you in the dark for all of these things and she left you here so that you could get routed by us. If that's true, then what do I need you for? They look at each other and start to sweat a bit. Uh, uh... 
and you can see Ketrick <laughs> just like <laughs> looking at them. <laughs> Uh, so I've been sitting across the room listening to this. As he does that, to kind of add to this, can I just start walking? Oh! Just <laughs> 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 both out like, like that, 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 I'm making like, like <laughs> just letting my footsteps on the grate echo through the way, the room. Magnus, oh my God. Like a sword drag on the floor. <laughs> Mag- <laughs> really your tink, tink, tink on the grate. <laughs> So Magnus actually steps up and he snaps his fingers. It was a ruse. Uh, Perhaps multiple. Castilia <laughs> was inside but was unable to find a way. If she were to deceive you, perhaps she would make a plan to trick you into opening the door for her so that she may come on out with all of her warforged. Is that what you wanted, Magnus? Yes. And he takes his hand and covers his mouth and his eyes go wide. Oh, I am literally, nope, nope, bitch, bitch, he's a tree. I don't think that that means he can't get put in under sleep spell. Fuck you, go to sleep. Whoa, wait, uh, whoa, wait, whoa. no, don't, 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 uh, don't cast that spell on okay, him. Okay, fine, you see a go, like you probably see her going. N- 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 I'll raise my hand up to like, that. Mm, she's just like, she really just is like, her hands are shaking. She is not happy with him at whoa. all. Okay. Oh, bitch better have my money. Okay, so my internet like <laughs> cut out for like four seconds and I missed what he just fucking so, said. I'm so, so sorry. So he said perhaps it is a ruse. Castilia tricked us so that we would open the door for her and she could like leave with all of her warforged. I responded with, is that what you wanted, Magnus? And he, not understanding that he was under a zone of truth, responded with yes. Oh my god. So, why the fuck do you want that then? Hmm? Oh, that's obvious. He's working for Castilia, and that's why he's here. Uh-huh. I imagine whatever information he had on me, that he was trying to... You were trying to separate Enoch and I. Unfortunately, you misunderstood that our bond is stronger than that. I don't believe that you had any information that was true at all, do you? He simply holds his tongue and doesn't say another word. I rack a shot over all the bodies on the floor. I point it straight at him, kind of just in the distance, like out of focus. You see, Enoch is now upset. He does not like lies. No, he does not. And while I can be non-lethal if I choose to be, and I'll snap and I will mind sliver this man. (laughs) <laughs> okay. oh, 12 psychic that was double that's max damage yeah that was max damage very interesting oh. fuck he fails and you can see him wince I doubt that the bullets from Enoch can be tell me do you bleed you I can find uh, out <laughs> that's what I was gonna say <laughs> I'm can about we to find the, the fuck same out time? can we just yeah. say that they say yeah. together <laughs> If yeah. they want to be the intimidation this time, they can. <laughs> yeah, please. Just all of y'all. No intimidation required. He is surrounded. Yay. He simply simply puts up both his hands. I must apologize, but I've been quite deceitful. I lied about yeah, not yeah. being part of the protectors, and for this I apologize, Mr. Solomon. <laughs> oh. Now. That gets you one of the chest and one in the head, so... <clears throat> Please, you must understand. The necrotic city of Cloveway is a mere day's travel, and yet the kingdom sits idly by while the spine of death continue to wreak havoc. I didn't consider myself an executioner, Mr. Solomon, but how matter-of-fact you stated your willingness. Well, it got me thinking. And when Bloodstride approached to me, I don't care what his undermining plan is, he provided us with an opportunity. Mm-hmm. So you talked to hemoglobin running? I'm sorry. Wait, are you saying I, that... I, I, no. I'm making fun of his name, his oh, stupid yeah. fucking oh. name. <laughs> are you yes, saying Pierce that really you're trying stupid. to get friendly with the spine of death in order to get closer? My relation with the spine so far is only with Bloodstride. And it is merely to get us in here. It has afforded us this opportunity. Once we are done taking care of Cloveway... He will be next. You'll find to get played of the spine. I want to ask you something. 
What exactly do you expect to happen if you take out Clovery? What consequences do you see happening? Well, perhaps one or two necromancers could easily incite pushback from the others, but if we strike them at their home and end them swiftly, well, then they won't even have a chance to retaliate. You risk a war. It wouldn't be much of a war the necromancers would lose. No good deed goes unpunished, and if it means that I have to be some kind of warmonger painted in history, then so be it. Oh, you're not going to be anything but a head on the floor if you don't... Luna. Right. <clears throat> the important questions that I have for you. You said that you knew more about me. I would love to know what you meant by that. Mm. Are you going to hold your tongue? Really? <laughs> really? Now? Now? You see, at all times? I... You, have all, you have informed hey us that not only yeah, are we not on the time really we thought we were, but we, in fact, have no incentive to open those open that barrier at all, meaning we have all the time in the world. I can cast a zone of truth as many times as it's necessary for you to give me the answers I'm looking for. Or, if it comes to it, I can be more forceful. But at I that, to be. At that, I'm going to cast True Strike and just be like, <laughs> you know, he is absolutely uh, weak here, here, here. Ooh, there's a little... You were walking a little funny earlier. Uh, is it your, is the spot right there on your body? Mm-hmm. She's just like pointing out all the little weak spots so whoever hits him has advantage. As, as you do oh, that, Luna like, looks over her shoulder at, at uh, Enoch. Do you have a good line on him or do I need to move aside? Oh, I have the perfect shot. Good to know. He, he looks at you now a little bit more frustrated. He takes a step forward but doesn't... It's more of just to uh, impose himself. You don't know how many I've lost to those damn corpse mages. I am tree folk. Do you know? Do you understand how susceptible we are to necromancy? How many, how many families I've lost? Uh, they have to be stopped. And we, and they will. Do you really think bringing an army across the border is going to stop it? With enough no, cut that time? just gives. Do you understand what Bloodstride is doing? He's trying to normalize necromancy. He's trying to make it well. okay. All no, that's going to do Luna. is if you march over that, over the border with a army of Warforge, all you are doing is making Cloveway a martyr. Luna. He thinks on this That is the plan. That is the plan with Bloodstride. Yes, Bloodstride wishes to incite Well, violence. apparently he's too stupid to see it. Yes, that's obvious. I'm not worried about that. Listen, I understand where your anger is coming from. But what you are doing is going to end up costing far more lives. Only from Luna. Give me a persuasion. That's fair. Yeah. Uh, okay. Please, please. What what Blight would do to this guy? <laughs> That's a good question. Ah! Oh no! no, no, no. Oh. Charismatic. He looks up to you, Luna. Then I am willing to live or die for the consequences. Good. You know, uh, it's really a shame because someone like you could do so much good if you would just open your eyes. I I look at my party members and I want to know if I have any permission from any of you. What you do is up to you. I I you have been used as a threat, but I don't you or I don't make idle threats. So if you shoot him, it's because he failed to understand that you were going to shoot him. Yeah, that you were pissed. Yeah, yeah. right? So like, it, this was a real problem that he needed to understand. Yeah, he needs... Yeah, so... Luna is going to hold her hand up just, like, with a finger. Like, just one more moment. Just one more chance. You get three. <laughs> He's had two. All right. All right. Who did they take from you? What are the names you remember the most? I... I remember Drakkar, Zotika, Brienne, so many of my brothers and sisters. Gone. In a blink of an eye. All because someone wanted to play a little bit too much with quartz magic. And those people deserve justice for what's happened to them. But what if I told you there was another way? One where you would not be a warmonger. One where your name would be remembered for do- leaving good things behind. 
one where those people, those people, those names are remembered. At this, everyone hears an unfamiliar voice, but one that Enoch, you are familiar with. Uh oh. However, what? it sounds distorted, and you can hear it emanating from Enoch. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> there is no other way. Um, can my oh, reaction fuck. to that. Can that reaction, my reaction to hearing that being stepping in front of of Magnus in between yes. the, the I, and the line at of that shot. you can I see am... Enoch is glowing bright white blinding Enoch oh, I need you to make a wisdom save no Enoch alright is, it, is Enoch the final boss is it time to fight <laughs> Enoch 17 oh, Enoch? you are able to resist the harm oh. that comes from this happening but it does happen Oh, no. As the voice in your head and the being that you are inside of you bursts out of your chest and knocks you on your ass and flies into Magnus. And the oh! voice speaks, speaks through him as Magnus starts to rise and glow a bright white. I need everybody to make a constitution saving throw. Oh. Fucking what? Fuck! What oh happening? my god! He transferred bodies! Uh -oh. Transfer bodies! Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Everyone, oh, no! everyone aside from Enoch is blinded by this bright light. Blinded by the light. The voice, the voice, the being goes into Magnus and rises through the air. There is no other way! And he. Whoops, that's not right. I am he... putting one immediately in Magnus's head. Okay, show me the attack. Let... 19, okay. Show me the damage. I'm worried about where this is gonna go now. Yeah, I'm letting oh. it happen. Oh, wow. I wanna... oh my god. That is <laughs> Holy max damage. Shit. Holy shit. Almost, almost. Almost. Two away from max damage. Two away from fucking max, holy shit. And ah! you, you crack, it goes through his head and his head splits and you can see a face burst out in ethereal light and he screeches <laughs> and goes back into him and he so this is the last thing that's gonna happen unfortunately it's too fast that's okay. for you guys to react that's, that's okay that's that fair. going fucking anywhere flashes over here and you can see bright white wings you can see that Magnus's body is as if it's being moved around like a puppet. <gasps> Vanishes, Overwear? appears here, oh. holds the oh, hand shit. up, and shatters oh! the crystal. Fuck! <gasps> oh, fuck! And turns to you, Enoch, and says, You were always with me. <gasps> and that is going to be today's session. Whoa! Oh my god! Oh. Since when can he move bodies? Did you I know this? I wasn't aware of this. What the hell? Uh, Enoch, what? why didn't you warn us of this? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know any Is better. Enoch oh, a human my... now? Wait, Wait is, a minute. Oh God, what? Is he? Wait, is he human? No, no. Is he we will know? find out next yeah, session. Yeah, we'll have to figure that shit out. Oh my God. Oh my God. God. This was amazing.